everybody. Tonight we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon playthrough. And uh, yeah, but originally on Wednesday I said that we uh, weren't going to be doing it because like uh, schedule stuff, people coming by might not have been able to, and then all that got cancelled, so I was able to. Meh. That's why I had a, like a longer stream of starting screen. Give people like a little bit extra time to find it. Then I get a lot of the time people just stumble on in midway through. So who knows? But still, figured since I said, oh, I don't think it'll happen. And then it ends up happening. G give people a little bit of extra chance. <laughs> and yep, today we are going to be beginning the epilogue, the post game of Super Mystery Dungeon. I have no idea how long it is. Considering that it's the anniversary version and it had like a building blocks of being able to use probably like models, coding and stuff from Gates to Infinity to a degree that it's probably going like considering that the main story was a lot longer than like Gates to Infinity and then Gates to Infinity only had like a single like post game thing which was bringing the hero back. I can only imagine that there's, like, a bit more to the post-game here, but we'll have to wait and... We'll have to wait and see. Oh, we're gonna be seeing at least a little bit now. <laughs> yeah, because last time, the anniversary game decided to just absolutely stab the players in the back by Uno reverse-carding your expectations entirely. Because everybody who, like, has played the past three Mystery Dungeon games were, like, waiting. It's like, well, we just have time for the emotional goodbye player moment. And then, no! No! <laughs> you are not the one who leaves. Your partner's the one that gets sent off away. This will probably be one to two streams, depending on how long you spend of side quest days. Hmm. We'll definitely see, yeah, because last time our buddy Gabriel was reminded that he was Mew and now had to leave. Maybe we'll go fight Xerneas about it or something, who knows, but let's see what the post-game has in store with us. Because last time we were sobbing on a hill, which is, come to think of it, kind of sad because Gabriel's last request was... Don't you cry. First thing we did through the entirety of the credits. Sob our eyes out. <laughs> Technically, this has a lot of post-game or a decent amount, depending on if you'd consider trying to recruit everyone and all. <laughs> Only kinda sad! <laughs> yeah, it's just like it didn't... Well, because him leaving, Gabriel, the partner, going up in a ball of light was sad enough it only didn't hit me until later it's like oh yeah his last request was we don't cry and we did that throughout the entire credits <laughs> it didn't ding on me until a while later and let's see maybe maybe gabriel isn't totally gone yet maybe gabriel's spirit is still out there somewhere in the world if only there was a way. How is how am I gonna explain this to anybody? Oh, we're just back at the Expedition Society. Do do we not get to see everyone's reaction to it? Imagine if the epilogue just immediately started with you, the player, standing up on the hill, and you have to go around telling everybody Gabriel's gone. It has been some time now since Dark Matter disappeared. The peace in the Pokemon world has continued unbroken. Well, that's just depressing. Neon remains in the Pokemon world and continues to work as a member of the Expedition Society. Another morning and I'm still here. I'm still a Pokemon. I guess... It really is like Gabriel said back then. It's not who has, it's not you who has to go, Neon. It's me. It's true that I didn't want to leave. I wanted to stay here in this world, but 
not like this. I thought I would never want to leave this world. But that was because everyone was here. It was because Gabriel was here. I just wanted us to stay together. I never thought Gabriel would be the one to leave. It's like... I only reali really realized it was after Gabriel was gone. That without Gabriel, I'm just... Ah, there I go again. Every time I let myself go for a moment, I'm back to those thoughts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now we are the depressed one. <laughs> Locke from Gates to Infinity managed to hold it together. Meanwhile, well, then again, we're in, our, we're in the head of the character this time. And we're like... <laughs> it's like... Just everything. It's gone wrong. It's depressing. I had another thought, but then it just went away because the depression hit. Also, yeah, just like, uh, the thought came back to me. <laughs> this one is, like, going super hard on it. That it's just like, this is why I constantly ship the hero and the partner. Because just like, that connection, that bond. He's just here. And it's great. And now they're leveraging it for depression. I do like how this game just lets you do all the story stuff right at the start of the post-game instead of needing to do other post-game missions first. <laughs> Riolu has int uh, intrusive thoughts and depression. This can only end well. I'm supposed to be doing my job. I'm going to give him my all. What was that? What was what? For a second there, I felt like I was being watched by someone. But I guess it was just my imagination. Hello and welcome to Depression Hours. And yeah, I think this is the first time that, well, a first time in a long time that we're walking around alone. I have one regret before I got turned to stew. I wish I'd eaten way more perfect apples. So that you'd have the excuse to eat them all. Because once you were returned to normal, you were no longer allowed to eat them all. I intend to continue my investigations of recent events. I'll be in constant contact with Celebi. Hopefully we can stop anything like that from ever happening again. Well, considering that the dark matter just got nuked, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Don't work too hard, Neon. It's like they know. Good luck on your expeditions today. Also... <laughs> Also, just realized something. The entire reason why we joined the Expedition Society was because it was Gabriel's dream. It was Gabriel's dream, and now we're just here. This is our life now. <laughs> it's still hard to believe that Gabriel was Mew. I was totally surprised, and then Gabriel was gone. He didn't even get to tell everyone. Because yeah, it's just like... He basically had to bargain for time with... Uh, Xerneas to be allowed to stay and say goodbye. Yeesh. Well, actually, no, that uh, might come in handy. Definitely need apples and orange berries. And we just have the happy music while we are just horribly depressed.
first things first. Pick up our items from here. Oh, hey, another unknown. Oh, hey, it's Crocodile. He got out. <laughs> He's alive. Welcome to Cafe Connection. Gravel rock and another revival seed and a protein. I'm W, W attack. Sorry, I just wanted to say that just because. Oh, it's you. Um, uh. You brought us back from being turned to stone. So thanks. Thanks for saving me too. And thanks for saving Crocodile. Hey, it's Perugly. What? Overweight? Of course not. Where are your manners? Be careful of that Perugly. They were part of a death cult once. There's a martial arts class for adults today. The duo! Attack! Ah. Odd oddness! Oddity! Why not the Odyssey? Trying out things like this every once in a while can help to improve my sense of rhythm. Line punch! I'm so happy our world is at peace again. It's all thanks to you that we're back from being turned to stone, innit? Thanks! I forget. Do we have some boxes locked away? I completely forget. Nope. Go ahead and grab that protein. Just talk to everybody because we can. Good morning, Neon. Another beautiful day, isn't it? Another beautiful day where my partner is gone. What was the deal with the with that world where we were in after we got turned to stone? It was oh so scary. One hit KO, that would be my deal. Here I come. And let's check and see our connection orb. Dear God, there's so many. Let's see. Without it, my electricity won't cut it. The Valley of Strong Winds. Without it, my gears won't engage right. Everybody's missing their very important things. Onitareski, no friend. Come with me. At least we, I assume we can trust you. You can never know in this world. Then again, it wasn't a come to my secret base. I didn't have it for long and now it's gone. Sucks to be you. Help me already! Well, that's rude. I'm in serious trouble without it. Everybody's losing everything. I lost something important. Ah, from the mystical forest. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been there. My family is really strong. Come beat up my family. I beg you, please help me find it. In the fairy forest. Oh, hey, it's you. I know I, I know I can't trust you. You're a bastard. You're a fuck. Why are you connected to him still, Badoof? He's a motherfucker. I want to go looking for the guildmaster. It's been a long time since we've done <laughs> Chadot's voice. Spiral Vortex. Yeesh. Oh, poor Aramal. Please come with me for a rescue. I really need to save my friend. Go find a Bunary. Uh, someone bring me my precious! Oh no, it's another golem. Please find our gross and precious thing. Weird to think of your precious thing as gross, but okay. 
From swimming to barely surviving. Help! And the problem is, I don't have Gabriel to help me. On these hard, on the extra hard ones. I'm not the submerged cave. That's hell. Ba -da -ba -ba, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Two in Mystical Forest. One there, one there. Just looking them over. Take eye drop seed to Diglett. I don't know if I have an eye drop seed at all. Meanwhile, the Valley of the Strong Winds. There's check out Zorok's secret base of Battle Golurk. And then find a thing. Hmm. Maybe Flagstone Cave? That one doesn't seem too bad. And then <laughs> go check out two different secret bases in the Forest of the Fairies. They won't kill you. Ease our way in by rescuing Pachirisu. <laughs> Another place for global tours, maybe. <laughs> I guess we can do a depressing, we don't have Gabriel anymore, world tour. Starly, you're home. We can play again, uh, together again. Starly, you're home. I have I've already read that one. I'm so glad everyone's all right. It's so nice. I was worried about the rest of the world, so I've been traveling around checking things out. It seems like everything's back to normal in every town I've seen. You've been to all five continents. All the clouds over those continents should clear from the world map. Congrats. I assume you'll continue striving to complete the map. If you don't mind, I'd like to help you. Please just ask and I'll ha be happy to join you. Ah. And now we have a, a, a giant warship. Neon, let me just say... Thank you for saving the world for us. If you would like Neon, I'd be happy to take you to the remote parts of the world. It's not a regular travel line or service, so you don't need any pass. Don't hesitate to tell me if you'd like to go. I wonder what that means. Remote parts of the world. We'll quickly check out the different towns. And then go save Pachurisu. Getting back into the swing of things, because we haven't done a normal expedition in forever. Well, that guy's just insane. Hey there, Gengar. My name is Gengar. Good to see you. <laughs> Come to think of it, I haven't talked with anyone in a while. Well, I guess we'll. I'll, I will talk to you. I oh, I said all. I said we, because I'm not used to being alone on my journeys. And now I want to scatter pollen. That's a weird thing to want after having a conversation. I did horrible things in the past, but now I've decided to do the right thing from now on. I believe that one day this world will be full of our hopes. At least she hasn't backslide into villainy. That isn't one nice thing. Uh, 
now we will go on to the grass continent. Let's -a go on our depressing world tour. Do, 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 do. I like stars. And that's how the conversation started. We have talked to the alien. I like shooting stars. I love stars. Good for you, small weirdo. With the hyperfixation. I do find it funny that Skunk Tank is just there, eternally, waiting. I guess after getting his ass kicked in the cave, he's like, I'm gonna retire to a oceanside city. Do, 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 do. Off to the mist continent. Yeah, this must just be a depressing, lonely adventure for I. I want to see Larvitar! Sure, I will accept your off your job. Attention, I get stepped on way too often. And now he will talk to you about your poor life of being a fish on land. Well, I have to admit it, that's because I'm so flat that everyone just steps on me. I'm sorry, being flat is so flattening. That's why you need to go be flat in the ocean. Where all the... What's the word? All the capabilities of being flat come to your aid. We should all be punctual. Make sure you come on time for a gathering. What exactly is this mysterious material, do you think? Like what? What you're made of? Or do you have something? I'm going to presume you mean the material you're made out of. Thank you for talking with me. The mysterious material is actually cl- Well, I can't tell you. We had this entire conversation and I didn't even get an answer. He asked me a question, knew the answer, and didn't even tell me. Now I can send him to uh, be beaten up horribly and violently in dungeons. And by Claydol's introduction. Crawdont. I wonder if that's Corfish's dad. And that connects to Weavile and uh, Arbok up there. Iron tastes so good, doesn't it? Well, I do have a protein, and that's like similar to iron, but it's probably not the iron you're talking about. Iron is yummy, isn't it? What? It's not food? Are you serious? Knowing them, it probably is food for them. Just don't upgrade your appetite to steel. I do find it kind of funny that some places are getting, like, tons of, oh, just talk to Pokemon, like, little quests. Probably because everybody was like, oh, God, I got turned to stone. I want to go socialize a bit. Also, the music for that town is always really nice. It doesn't seem like there's any... New stuff happening here, but what about in here? I want to talk about moves. They couldn't give everyone a dungeon mission. Yeah, I just find it funny. That like that one place had a ton of just talk to people missions right after we 
save the world. Well, not right after, but like sometime after. Teehee, I'll show you my moves next time. My own personal army is growing. Ah, now we're connected to more presumably GTI characters. Oh, will take us back to the water continent. I'll take us back, take me back, because I'm alone. Go save Patrisu. Get back into the swing of things. Before trying to see, like, uh, what higher level evil dungeons we want to suffer to. Oh, wait a minute. Can we actually? Yes, let's go to Serene Village. Welcome home, Neon. Oh, Neon! Sorry about what happened. You know, with Gabriel. I don't know how to put this. It's a real shame. Welcome home, Neon. Stay stoked! <laughs> I guess uh, Pantrim is just like, I'll take the depressing part. You try to amp him up. Huh, Neon? You're back? Is it really that surprising? I'm glad we have our peaceful world back. When that crocodile fellow made it to the Revelation Mountain, I was, I was actually on duty at the gate. He was just so scary. I couldn't help but run like a crazy Pokemon. <laughs> Welcome back, Neon. I'm having a little break myself. It's nice to be able to come in here and relax. It quickly it changes my mood. I didn't expect to see, like, <laughs> Nurse Saldino in here. The drinks are delicious as ever today! That guy getting crunk as always. Oh, uh, despite Pancham's animosity towards him, he does very much care. Indeed, he does. Hello, Neon. Welcome home. How are you getting along in Lively Town? I wonder if the Expedition Society would allow me to just... Like, stay in Serene Village for some time. I mean, they have Dedene, who can touch base with me through the, ex uh, the expedition gadget. I can work from home just fine, Expedition Society. You're back, Neon. Looking back on it now... It all seems so long ago. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't it? Like, even the ancient barrow feels like it was a long, long time ago. Welcome home. Why don't you stay a while? Oh, it's Neon! He's me. I do like that they have a lot of plants in there. Hey, Nuzli, if you're here. Nope. I wonder if anybody's taking care of this place, because it's technically mine now. Has this even ever been used? Sometimes Pulipper comes by, but it never does. And Caracosta is also currently gone. Hello, is Gabriel back? Nope! We only just started, and I'm still wandering around talking to everybody. And now to do one thing that I never did before. One thing that I never did before. Because we can come up here, and I never knew that. And then the one time that I do do it, is after Gabriel is gone. We'll have to fix that if Gabriel comes back. God, wouldn't that be depressing? If the game was like, oh, you tried so hard. And still, your friend won't come back. Oh, 
have a lot more orange berries than I expected to have. Things away. Let's see. Rescue shield on. Find barbuckle thing. Let's go save Pachirisu. Let's see. Who do we want to bring along? Currently filtered, or like let's see. It's been a while. Come along, Victini. Why not? And Sylveon, why not? Here. Defense diddly for you. Well, let's go save Pachirisu. I believe Caracosta does have a chance to show up. I believe that. Just like everybody else, he just has a random chance. One way or another. Definitely, like, even if we don't do a, like, world tour each time, we'll definitely have to check out Serene Village at the very least. ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ba At least we have exciting music. I punch you from far away. Suffer and die, you monster. Schmeck. So many reviver seats. Blast on that little ghost balloon. And let's beat this guy up too. Why not? We're right here. In beating up range. Even if Gabriel is gone, we still have happy music to adventure to. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. Protein. I have that. Need to use it. Da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. Whenever I have something in my inventory that I need to use at, like, the, the early on in the dungeon, I always forget to do so. It just always just m misses my brain. Hello there, Neon. Hello, hello. We are adventuring alone because Gabriel is gone. Patrizio's right here. Let's just do some like 
item finding. Since this isn't a scary dungeon. You fool! You cannot take me down. Be obliterated by the power of nice. dare you minimize. You'll still need to die. You might be tiny, but I'm too speedy for you. At least, like, enemies tend to leave these Pokemon alone. And these Pokemon just stand in one spot now. You are now free, Pachirisu. Thank you for saving me. My cheeks have been crackling out of fear the whole time. Now go home. And be a family, Pachirisu. Until I want to drag you into a dungeon to fight for my for my fun and pleasure. Ooh, there may be still something ahead. Then let us not leave, actually. There might be something ahead, you say? Let's stay. A traveling Pokemon is on this floor. We definitely picked the correct dungeon to play around in. A mysterious wanderer is here. We'll just have to wander into them. If this were a normal mystery dungeon, like th that, this would totally be like a diddly D, what's it called? Monster House. Aha, more Petrify Wands. I'll become unstoppable. Level up for Victini. V Wheel. <laughs> they were in paralyzing pier for months. At least they managed to escape being stoned. Thank you, traveling nurse Chansey. If it weren't for a traveling Chansey, I would have swapped to one of my other teammates to preserve Belly so I didn't have to eat my apples. But now I don't need to do that. Yeah, sure, let's exit. It didn't foreshadow there being anything else in the dungeon. After Neon completed the day's expeditions... Did I go to the beach? Looking out over the ocean. So this is where you've been hiding. Ah, oh, I was actually close. Ampharos. Is there something fascinating you can see from here? It seems you're rather down these days. Are you thinking about Gabriel? Of course I am. Yes, I rather thought that was it. It's true that none of us expected Gabriel to disappear so suddenly. Everyone was shocked. But, you know, Neon, 
I can't help believing that there might be a way for Gabriel to come back to us. What? I think the possibility is out there. As long as you have that scarf, Neon. His scarf? You and Gabriel are still bound together by that scarf. Well, that's what I think, anyway. Celebi can use his time-traveling abilities to go back to the past, but there is also a Pokémon in this world who can see both past and future. A Pokémon that can see both the past and the future? His name is Zatu. Ah, oh, we're bringing Zatu back into it! This, <laughs> this really is an anniversary game. His name is Zatu. Zatu lives on the Sand Continent, in a place called the Sand Dune of Spirits. Why not go and chat with him a bit? But before that, come home and have a big old meal. And depending on like... Because I don't think it would be that difficult. Give it your all out there, team! Yes, sir! These Pokémon are very motivated now. All right, power up these motivated Pokémon in an adventure! I'm going to eat some... I mean, make some delicious food! I'll be waiting for you, so give it your all out there! Do 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 do. We really can learn so much from the past. Good luck out there today. I mentioned this earlier today, but there is a Pokemon around here. <laughs> earlier today? That was yesterday. There's a Pokemon around here who can see the past and the future. That Pokemon is known as Zatu. If you are able to meet Zatu, we may find some way to bring Gabriel back. On the Sand Continent at the Sand Dune of Spirits, you will find Zatu. Why not give it a look? The planets have backed away from the sun. It doesn't look like we'll be smashing into the sun anytime soon. That's at least that's a good thing. <laughs> Zatu lives on the Sand Continent. Ah, uh, sir, we made the Air Continent uh, rescue team. Sand Continent! He just moved, I guess. Probably. After all, the natural disasters calmed down. They're like, I'm going to see the world. He moved to uh, the Explorer's Continent. Uh, divined some boxes there. Maybe moved from there to the Sand Continent. Find some new mountain ranges to stare at for years on end. If Amphros is right, and there really is a way to bring Gabriel back... Maybe I should go talk to that Zatu. Amphro said that Zatu lives in the sand dune of spirits on the sand continent. I should be able to get there if I take the Lapras travel liner to the sand continent. I had a talk of Crocodile. He said he'll stop hanging around the cafe and feeling sorry for himself. He really needs to look for a job. Oh, it's you, Neon. Let's give it our all. Let's just take it easy. It's all thanks to you that we have a peace once more. Thank you so much. By the way, what happened to Gabriel? How dare. I immediately begin breaking down into tears. They don't even know what they did. This will also be the first time you're required to leave the water continent, not counting the first time with uh, to the air continent. Yep. Cue everyone who didn't have the pokey to buy the sand continent pi uh, pass panicking. Then again, I had I got like a lot of pokey from just uh, like going from of all the story stuff that happened. Hey, Caracosta, you alive? No, but I found a petrify wand, my favorite kind of wand. I wonder if we'll ever run into Nuzleaf at this rate. And nobody here on the hilltop. Man, I need 
need to draw more. Draw more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Head back to Lively Town. We'll organize my inventory. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful I don't know how I should thank you. Shall I begin by biting you? Kinky. We go to the sand continent now. <laughs> it would be funny if Gabriel was just some random uh, NPC on the hill with a big tree. You just go there, it's like, what, Gabriel? It's like, nah, I'm not Gabriel, but you are! Huh? Are you headed across the ocean? I was planning on riding on Lapras in a little while myself. Why don't you just go on ahead of me? I'll take care of some things around town first. I can get back to my work. All thanks to you, Neon. I finally realized that just living out every day of your life can be super satisfying. Thank you so much. It would have been funny if, like, the first one said, I can get back to my job because of you. Thank you. Then the second one, I can get back to my job because of you. Thanks a lot. Are you sure you're not future, future boy? I can manipulate flames elegantly and mysteriously. I can go to all these places, <laughs> including the Hall of Magic. <laughs> okay, first off, what is the Hall of Magic? Apparently it's very difficult. Very difficult, very difficult, and very difficult. This is a dungeon where only I may go. Well, okie dokie, I probably should have brought more <laughs> Reviver Seeds. Oops. Why are you all fast? Damn you. How dare you not die in one hit to a super effective move, jerk. Ooh, berry power. That'll be very nice. And lullaby. Also very nice. But this music. It seems familiar. Is it a remix from the original, like, Zatu dungeon from Rescue Team? Hey, guess what? Not gonna work on me. Da, 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 da. Hmm. I should probably do Russian. I can always come back and leisurely do this dungeon at another time. Post-game story is rough, and it's where I learned the value of wands. So yeah, I should use my wands more often. Excuse me, I'm going to ask you to uh, uh, petrify. No, no, no. Petrify. That's just very annoying. You're a bitch. I have berry power. Fuck off. Yeah, get lullaby. You jerk. Luckily, these guys are all wasting their time trying to... Huh. Didn't even do damage to me. 
luckily. You're part dark type, so you get smacked. Natural recovery? Speed up natural recovery. Sure, I'll take that. So when I take damage, I can just have a nice time. Wait, why did I even look? things first. Do this, increase my health a little bit. I am not that scared of a Growlithe. But again, apparently there's more than just a Growlithe in here. So, first things first. So we should be on here. I'll just use another Orin Berry to increase my health. This was especially rough for me, giving my pro tag was a Chikorita. Ouch. Dungeon World really didn't like you. Restores your power points when you move to the next floor. That's an awesome Emera. Yes, please. And we're gonna let that Lunatone stay down there. Especially because it, it got boosted by its friend. Power Boost X! Status Mirror be gone. Yeah, you can just stay down there, Lunatone, because you got boosted. <laughs> Goodbye. scared of you. I have Power Point X on my... Well, not Power Point X, but Power Boost X. Trap proof? That might actually be useful considering traps are going to get extra annoyance. So honestly, natural recovery can be thrown. Get critical hitted. And then I hit you from far away. And then I hit you up close. Well, you're just a very annoying being. Oh, wait, I know. Why deal with you when I can petrify you? Goodbye! At the very least, that allows me to get away. my health standing next to here. Oh, you know what? I can get some experience off you. Goodbye, fool. Yeah, we are not waking the burn monster up. I remember you from GTI and how much... What the hell are you? Oh, uh, prevents you from waking up sleeping Pokemon when you approach them. Huh. Otherwise, increases HP. Interesting. Yeah. It, like, sensed my presence, but luckily didn't notice that I was there. Hmm. Well, first things first. Petrify. Okay, good. You went down to normal speed again. I 
probably should have healed before I did that, but I trusted my damage. But I probably should not have trusted my speed. Huh? You dare game, you dare hurt me with this. Remember the boy. Thank God. <laughs> See, big ass motherfucker just appear right in front of me. Oh no. Luckily, it's made of steel. I don't have time to fight you, uh, uh petrify. You ruined it all, you motherfucker. Well, that's gonna wake up that guy. Of course you do. Luckily I got a crit. Berry power, idiot. We are halfway through. Eh, you know what, let's just skip this. Let's move on to floor six. I'm getting too cocky. I need to speed through. Hmm. I'm interested in what that Emra uh, looplet is. Ah, uh, just a normal looplet. I thought maybe it would be a special one with lots of looplets or Emerus spots that I could have then given to the boy when if he came back. Damn it. Die. Aha, you missed, idiot. I punch you. Emeras really do level the playing field. Am I gonna make it? I don't think I will. Ah, I did. The power of magic. Go ahead and eat an apple to stave off the hunger. Another clairvoyance, which I'll just use. I get all this emerald dust. Do that all you want. It won't affect me because I have a. <laughs> oh, I have the weather looplet. Your weather stuff does nothing to me. You fool. The music is so good. This is making me want to, like, play Rescue Team again. But who knows, maybe one of these days I will. Even if I don't, like, uh... Like an item checker. Enables you to know the number of items on a floor when you move to it. That just seems like a worse... Like, clairvoyance. Which is funny, because Clairvoyance is not a post-game Emera. Yeah, this is th this music is making me want to replay... Like, uh... Rescue Team, even if I- even though I don't have, uh... Rescue Team DX, I believe. It is cold. I almost forgot those rocks up there. Another power boost, uh, power boost X. Let's see. Honestly, we haven't been running into that many traps. 
Juno, one of the biggest lyric makers, did a good lyric video for this song. Yeah. I remember, like, finding lyrics for Runaway Fugitives. That was just, like, in the comment section. Then I, then I think again, comment section lyrics for In the Hands of Fate. And then, like, a, I think a lyric video for Don't Ever Forget. I was like, <laughs> Mystery Dungeon fans really like making lyrics for their favorite songs because they're so catchy. I like OG Rescue Team more than Rescue Team DX, personally. Eh, to, to each their own. I've yet to play DX, so I don't know... ...like how the changes stack up. Yeah, like, uh, my original- like, the first, like, fan lyrics... ...I remember seeing were for The Runaway Fugitive. Way, way, way back long, long ago. Through mountains and mountains and deep caves and forests. Da 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 It's just a lovely... Lovely lyrics. No way button attack in Mystery Dungeon game just feels wrong. I mean, technically, there's hardly any A button attack in GTI and Super. But that makes sense because they re, like, evaluated how moves and stuff work. Like, GTI got around it by... I'm gonna have to look, look, look at that, but... GTI got around it because they gave you upgraded moves and a lot of elixirs. Same thing with super. Lots of elixirs and it upgrades your moves. You don't have a... And plus also both games upgrade your bag pretty regularly. So I don't really mind that it's not like that they just outright removed it. Because at that point what's the point? <laughs> You're never ever going to get value out of 5 damage. Man on the Internet is, yeah, I love his lyric videos. Those ones are great. I'd say The Lovely Moves is just an upgrade to the feature. It is indeed. Because it's such just a wonderful thing. Because that's the main reason why I really liked the basic attack in Rescue Team. Because it leveled with you. And because, like, they didn't really have a proper balance of, like, your bag space to the items you get. At least not that I recall. Then again, that was my first Mystery Dungeon game. And when I played it again, like, a year or two ago, it had been a long time since I played any Mystery Dungeon game. So maybe I ju I've just gotten better <laughs> since time has gone on. Oh yeah, we need to read this. Uh, makes effects on moves and items that give enemy a bad status condition last slightly longer, but it's not all that useful for me right now. Doo -doo. And I guess I'll punch you. Because I want all that Emra dust. How dare you keep missing, you fucker. You are a pupata. You are very small. You do not have arms or legs. But yeah, once they, like, evened out, like, your bag space, so you had more space to have the things that you want to use a lot or need for, like, apples, reviver seats and stuff, and started throwing elixirs at you more, and plus, in GTI and Super had leveled up moves. Like, at that point, the A button attack was just not important at all. Especially in GTI and 
super where it just does five damage. So in the remake, in DX, it kind of makes sense for them to just get rid of the A button attack in its ent entirety since you probably have lots of elixirs and leveled up moves and stuff. Because it's not like they just got rid of it without adding anything. Because then that would be dead. That would be very bad. But since the A button basically already does nothing in the modern Mystery Dungeon games. Hmm, I think next is PowerPoint Restore. I have a lot of elixirs. Like, I think that would have been a nice, like, mid-game thing. So for it to be here in the late game, it was just kind of funny. Now, why would you do that? It doesn't even affect me, you idiot. All right, there's just an army of dudes. But I can just one-shot. And then I miss you, and then you miss me, and then I punch you, and then you die. Huzzah. Do, do, do. A lot of the scenes in DX are also enhanced a lot visually. I can imagine, because Super and GTI have really good, like, animations for their cinematics. So just imagining, like... All the scenes from Adventure Team, or Adventure Team, Rescue Team, reimagined would be very, very cool. Someday I'll get to DX, maybe. Save my reactions for them. I feel like I've come pretty far, but... Oh! There's someone up ahead! Let's see if I can remember my Zatu voice. So... You are Neon. Uh, how did he know my name? I see what has been and what will be. I knew you would come and why. My name is Zatu. You should know now that I do not offer my help to just anyone who comes to see me. I will aid you because you saved our world. Is that it? That scarf you wear now? That is the scarf made from the Tree of Life? Show it to me. Zatu approached the Harmony Scarf to synchronize with its wavelengths, like he is a antenna. <laughs> what in the world? I have seen Mew. M Mew? Yes, Mew. You mean that Mew? Gabriel's past incarnation? What else did you see? You would like to know what else I saw? Unfortunately, I do not understand the other things I saw. But I know that it was me you that I saw. That is, at least I am sure of. And it was within the mystery jungle on the grass continent. On the grass continent? He was in the mystery jungle right now? Yes, Mew is there. Gabriel's past incarnation? Mew is still here in this world? If I just go to the mystery jungle, I can still find Mew. And maybe a way to bring Gabriel back. If he stuck around, I would have told him what he needed to do. Ah, so many visitors I have today. Is Nuzly following me for some reason? I'm trying to think. There, there aren't that many like, mysterious characters left that would be following me, I don't think. Unless it is Gabriel as Mew following. 
Ah, so many visitors I have today. I know you are there. Why don't you come out of hiding? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> are you playing blind? Yep, indeed. Should be in the title. I have no idea what's gonna happen with this one. As much as I'd love to see an Explorers DX remake, I'd love to see a new PMD game too. Yep, it's like the the battling thing of like bringing Explorers in line with like the rest of the games, because if people start with DX and then jump back to Explorers. I feel like they're going to have a hard time because they pr won't know, like, gummy stuff. They won't know, like, move linking. Well, then again, I think DX has move linking. I don't know. But, like, some of the stuff will be a little bit more difficult. Like, they won't have move leveling and stuff. Just, like, the feel and the vibe is a little bit off. Whereas if you start with, like, the DS rescue team, you can kind of follow it along the trajectory and get all the upgrades and changes as time goes on, rather than, like, jumping back. That's always a problem. <laughs> oh, I'm the blind one. I didn't see the blind in the title. <laughs> it's fair enough. The grass continent. Mew is there. Should I really go? Go to the mystery jungle on the grass continent? But who's the one who's following? I don't think it's Crocodile. And plus, it, there has to be somebody who can hide really well. Again, it could just be Gabriel with all his Mew memories. <laughs> Honestly, Mew faking their death only to watch their best friend go through depression while invisible is the most in-character thing for it in the other forms of media. <laughs> He's just like, I don't know how to handle having a friend. I'm going to leave the diddly d. Then again, it could also be a, like a part of how Mew became like a Finnegan. And like being reminded with like, because they made a deal with Xerneas where Xerneas would use their tree of life powers, presumably to give Mew th their memory back. If. Uh, after they save the world and everything. So I don't know. I don't know what their pl Like, I don't know what Mew's plans were. So just, I don't know. The next morning. Always have to <laughs> show the empty nest. Always has to. Give it your all out there, team. Uh, these Pokemon are very motivated now. Hey, Lapras. I think I might do a quick dungeon run of communicate or uh, connection orb stuff. Maybe, maybe. Mm, these ancient foot-shaped writings are proving quite difficult. I still can't read them as fluently as Gabriel could. Well, he was Mew. He was a little cheater. Good luck out there again today. I see. So you have met Zatu and had a vision of Mew. We are in accord, Neon. Shall we go have a look in Mew's home, the Mystery Jungle? The Mystery Jungle is on the Grass Continent. You can get there on the Lapras Travel Liner. Looks like Jirachi's still asleep today. Waking him up will probably just cause a ruckus like the other day. <laughs> like the other day. It's always been the other day. We are already time traveling. How many do I need? 290. But I've just been flooded with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon thoughts lately. Like, just earlier today, I was wondering, like, how would a... Like... A crossover between Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and... Blah, 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 what's it called? And, uh, Ace Attorney would go. It just left my brain. I was mostly thinking, like, what characters or XP of the characters would be what Pokemon. Because it's just a fun little brain teaser. 
Da 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 Huh? By the way, where's Gabriel? Ah, uh, he's dead. If anything ever happens to you, we'll be there. Thanks, Neon. We've got your back forever. First things first, I want to check Serene Village. See if we can find Caracosta. But it just seems like all the characters are in the same spot. So it does seem like Caracosta is programmed to not appear. Which is sad, that would be a very, like, even if it was a quick interaction, getting Karakosta's thoughts would be interesting. Before we move on too quickly. Hey, Rotom. Want to come to my secret base in Longfield Cave? Also in Longfield Cave. I guess I can go to Longfield Cave before moving on with story. So yeah, we'll do Longfield Cave. Why not? Ba -ba -ba. I wish I could use, like, Esper and the group. I just think that would be neat. We'll bring Lapras along because we can. Because I don't think that we can use Esper. Let's see. Ah, maybe by use. Do, 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 do. Nope. And I'll just keep it here because I'm... I think you can. I don't think they were there in, like, uh, alphabetical mode. I'll have to check another time. Oh, Type Bulldozer. Nice. Since I just got Type Bulldozer. Shit, you fuck you. How dare. You are a bastard. How dare you make me miss. That is illegal in all states. We go by Undertale rules here. Only super bosses dodge. You have to be so lazy that your stats underflow to being untouchable. <laughs> Lapras <laughs> just crawling along at impressive speeds. I, I didn't even notice. It didn't even register in my brain. Hell yeah, barrage. Increase my barrage. Hey, no playing bonerangs in here. Time for you to die. Ah, Rotom is here. Probably to betray us. Sneaky little twisty tricky man. Yeah, sure we'll put big ears on. Do, 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 do. Interesting that Rotom is beyond the power of big ears. Rotom is the ultimate ninja. 
I smack you. And then I smack you again. Well, that's odd. Why is there just an item stuck in there? Prepare to die. Give him the old one, two, three. <laughs> Have you ever had something that can turn into a microwave try and kill you? The ultimate... Why does this feel like a monster house? Welcome. You've done well to make it here. Let's have a cup of tea. Did you really expect a greedy like that? Yeah. Luckily, petrified. I shall execute you all one by one for taking part in this. I will scavenge your grave. You have lended me more power to kill you! You think I am scared of you? You are the one who should be scared! Then again, if you're like watching somebody go just like one by one to all you and your frozen friends. Just horrifically annihilating them. Would probably be a horror story. No, not you. You. What are you even doing here? This is like a mountain range. Fools. I probably also should have noticed that, like, there were no monsters on the floor. So that there, were, there was probably a monster house. The microwave demon is trying to kill you. Sorry for attacking you all of a sudden. Let's be friends, yay? It looked very worried. Like, oh, no, I, you could survive that? Oh, you're going to kick my ass. Why did I get, like, flowey vibes from that Rotom? Ye up my bed. Yes, I would like to go on. Oh, not to apple! Yo! When did I get a burn guard? What are you doing here, you giant snake? Nyang! I'm going to intimidate the giant snake. You do not scare me. I am not afraid of the weather. The weather means nothing to me. I am a weather god. Let's -a go find Wobbuffet. Then it turns out Wobbuffet has betrayed us too. We are coming to murder you. You silly fool. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. J 
just try to run away. I can learn <laughs> reversal. I am not going to use that because I don't want my health to be low. I understand them, like, uh, defaulting to no, but I do dislike that it defaults to the top of the move list. Because what if you just, like, mess up and accidentally then forget a move you don't want to forget? Jesus Christ, that's a lot of Emera. How dare you remind me of the boy. to die reminded me of CDI Ganon. <laughs> now you will die. I forget how the line actually goes. CDI Zelda was hilarious. I probably should have actually said yes, goodbye. Yes. Yes. Yay! And now we will head to... Uh, need to remember the continent. Luckily, Chief Amphros is there as our handy reminder. <laughs> Join me, Link. And I will make you face the greatest in all of Koradai. Or else you will die. And then there's, like, the bomb oils rope guy that's just eternal now. Bombs, oil, rope, they're yours, my friend, so long as you have enough rupees. I see you've met Zatu in the vision of Mew. We are in accord, Neon. Shall we go of Mew's home, the mystery jungle? Grass continent. I'll, uh, make use of my inventory, and then we will go see. Luigi. Oh, nothing else to do. Let's... Oh, wait. First, I should see. Wrong button. But well, we'll check it out anyway. Nope, nothing there. I was gonna check my items. Yeah, we'll keep the special attack looplet. Give it to Amphros if he decides to join. He worded it weirdly. Off to the grass continent we go. Ah, oh, it even highlights the one with the mission. That's cool. <laughs> I want that guy in the new Zelda games. That would be hilarious. But they probably wouldn't because they don't really acknowledge the CDI games. No matter how much of a meme that man is. Give me the spackles. Give me the spackle! I can go to the spiral vortex. Or the very difficult mystery jangle. Nope, only I can go. Well, that's not good. And the game was very mean and put me in a room with two of these guys. Immediately. Might as 
will take advantage of this and heal and raise my HP a little bit. Ooh, this music. I swear, if this has, like, the partner's theme in here somewhere... You fool! It has very, like, happy music to it. This is going on my playlist. This is good music. healed, darn you. But luckily, this is why I brought a million Reviver Seeds. Give me good Imaras, you bastard. And quit sending super effective assholes against me. God, the music is so good. That, like, I'm not sure what that instrument is. It's not a flute, is it? But it's very good. is just so good. I have rocks I think I can throw. Luckily I am in a tunnel and could just run away from you. is just so good. Good music is always just such an amazing thing in video games. I guess that wouldn't be terrible to have here. Ah, of course you would. Aha, you fool! I can just move to the next floor! I also need to remember to use my wands more. It's like I enter a dungeon and I immediately forget. Ah, yes, my wands. That's just mean. I'm just gonna use this to amp up my health then. Jerk. Get paybacked.
Da da da. Music just so good. Ah, clairvoyance wouldn't be bad to have. Like, this instrument reminds me of Tales of Symphonia so hard. And I don't even know why. You fool! And then you got paralyzed again! You fool! HP swap, God. I was going the wrong direction. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna petrify you. Goodbye. Full health, I totally would have done the HP swap, but I'm just gonna use an Ornberry. Well, that's just mean. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got slowed too. But at least my Force Palm got leveled up. Well, that's just rude. Go ahead and... Actually, you know what? HP swap. Let's see what happens. Ha-ha! <laughs> I will live forever with the power of HP swap! I run into a boss. I HP swap them. Again, doing this with a Chikorita. Postgame really didn't like grass types. <laughs> oh, no, not them. This one. Da, da, da. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to petrify you. And you know what? Fuck you. I hate ghosts that are like, I'm going to do that. It's like the game knows that you're going to use your one move to be able to hit ghost types, and they're like, no, you don't get to do that. That's such a dumb move to give in this game. I can't use it against the enemies. Why should they have it at all? Also, I guess I, I'm going to assume that's a shop down there. Considering the amount of well-laid-out items. Either that or it's a monster house. I shall throw rocks at you from the safety of the store. Get rocked. Get rocked. Get punched. And then punched again. Fool. And luckily, with <laughs> my health swap, if the game decides to be... Hey, game, how about I screw you? This is a s trubbish. It is not faster than me. Fuck you, game. Health swap.
I would get that Emra trail, but I'm low on health. Do you not have type bulldozer? No, not on this dungeon, not yet. I always take it if I get it, and I do not have it. I guess that's the first haunter that we fought, because it connected orbed. And yeah, no use for you. I'll at least go for the Emeras. I shall uh, petrify you, because screw you. You can stay there for eternity, Batman. What is with all of these guys? Fine, I'll fight you. Why can't any of my bites flinch these assholes? I'll just eat it. I'll come down here. Do that. One of these days, my bites will make an enemy flinch again. Like that. Huzzah. Mild victory. Alliance expert, I do not have any allies. You dare mock me, game? Poison guard wouldn't help me now, but at the same time, would probably be good to have in place of, like, super critical. I hardly get those. Additional action. Enables you to take another action right after you defeat an enemy. If you keep defeating enemies with one shot, enemies won't be able to attack. Hmm. Is kind of good, but I'm trying to avoid, like, multiple enemies. I guess, though... Like, uh, TP Restore isn't the worst thing to lose for it. And I'll go ahead and eat this plain seed. Because I can. Because normally these guard Emeras aren't that good to take. But here, there's plenty of jerks to make it perfectly worthwhile. I have a plain seed to swap for that. Hmm, sleep guard. Not many sleeps here. Go and eat you. Guess, uh, use an elixir, because uh, my bite's still out. I'm just gonna petrify you. I don't want to deal with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get flinched, idiot. And now that we're in the post game, it seems like the game's gonna give me lots of gold bars from shiny floors, from floor sparkles. Now that's just rude. Thank God the bug bites are all missing. Ah, finally, type bulldozer. I will definitely take uh, uh, payback back because wasn't really activating all that much. Now this place is gonna be easy peasy, and I'm gonna be one-shotting all you motherfuckers, which means my additional action, Imura, is gonna pay dividends. Be careful who you bully in Jungle Mysterious Forest. Ha, <laughs> 
fool. You're a flower. How dare you be faster than me. Flowers are not fast, they are notoriously slow. Well, now that's just me. I think an Emra swap trap is a little too cruel, personally. Now we're definitely taking you. Because there are dangers in here. Ha ha ha, you fool. Prepare to die. The music is still so good. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. We already have additional action, and I don't even think they stack. Yeah, super critical, I'll just nom. Da, 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 da. Get paralyzed, you fool. Well, now that we know where you are, I'm just gonna come over here, look at these Zimmeras and other items. I'm going to keep this and use it at a good point in time. Well, actually, perfect. And then I'll use this just in case there's like a boss or something. I'm going to hold on to this and use it when it'd be good. It's just the game's way of making sure you can't solely rely on an Emra combination. But it's just like it's RNG. It's like, oh no, our RNG was favorable to the player. Can't have that. It's just kind of weird that way. You are the ones making the RNG. Why are you upset at the player? There goes my, there goes my clairvoyance. That's almost meaner, because at least you get a different Emera from the swap. Now we'll see if I need that, uh, the awakening or not. There's also the trap resistance emeralds. That's also true. But then if anything, that's just telling the game or telling the player they need to rely on emeralds even more. If you don't get a trap resistant emera kids, well you're just going to die horribly. And what kind of lesson is that to teach children? Fine, you want to die? I shall kill you. That is what you get for being faster than me, but not faster than me. <laughs> Just, uh, apples and <laughs> the- This is the Kecleon food stall in the middle of the dungeon. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, the music is just so good. It 
using payback. I'll just... Meh. Now let's see. Will this be boss fight? Will we even find Mew? Can it be much farther now? I haven't found anyone like Mew so far. Do I even know what Mew looks like? Huh? What's that up ahead? A dead end? It looks like this is the end of the line. I guess... I'll just have to go back. Ah! Whoa! Hey, where'd you come from? What's your name? Whoa, Neon, huh? I'm Mew, nice to meet you. Mew? So we didn't know that it was Mew. But now this is what makes me wonder. Because it was said Mew was like, hmm. I'm trying to think. Because Zatu said, I believe, that, like, Mew, like, before Mew, like, I don't know. Is time travel involved? Is this Mew? Because, obviously, either this is Mew from before the first Dark Matter fight, or this is Mew reborn without memories. Mew? You're Mew? Yep, I'm Mew. Am I famous or something? Huh? Wait. Did you come here looking for me? You mean this Gabriel of yours was... And way back in the ancient past, I... Yeah, you know what? I... The truth is, I... I've got no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, it definitely seems like a Mew. This Mew seems somehow different from Gabriel. But I don't think this is what the ancient Mew from back then was like, either. Is this a new Mew? Has Mew been reborn or something? <laughs> That's hilarious! I thought I might get some clue by coming here, even if it was just something small. But this Mew doesn't seem to know a thing. I finally found Mew. And it all turns out to be for nothing. Huh? Feeling down, friend? Yeah, sorry. It's not your fault, exactly. Huh? Are you leaving already? I feel like someone is following me. <laughs> that feeling isn't going away. Why the sparkle vision? Well then, let's go! I'm with you! Great, now we have a hitchhiker who is both not and yes, my friend. Well, I found a Mew. So basically what you're saying is, Mew followed you home and now we have a new member. Not another kid. Like you're one to talk. I suppose anyone could get lured in by all our yummy food. Is that really all you ever think of? Now, now, where's the harm? It's a bit much to expect Neon to work all alone. We needn't yet recognize Mew as a full-fledged member of this society. But Neon could use an assistant, wouldn't you say? How does that sound to you all? Are there any real objections? None here. I'm glad to have a new member. Plus, mythical Pokemon are super rare. Um, you do remember that you're already, you've are already you already got one mythical Pokemon right here. Here I am, flying right here. Mew does seem a bit different from Gabriel, that's for sure. But just as likely to liven things up. And then I take it we are decided. Then Mew, welcome to the Expedition Society. Yeah, thanks for letting me stay, guys. And so Mew came to help with the work at the Expedition Society. And Mew and Neon became an adventuring duo. And now things become awkward. Neon, we had a great day today, huh? Uh, boy, it was such a great day that I'm bushed. I think I'll call it a night first. See you tomorrow, Neon. Nighty night. You get sleepy so easily. I suppose kids are like that, huh? You is pretty adorable, I guess. But I was trying to find Gabriel. I'm not sure how... we ended up like this. Mew's not Gabriel, nor the Mew from the ancient past. But a different Mew altogether. But that's still... There's still the mystery of, like, whoever it was that was, like, following me before. 
like, and went to see Zatu right after I left. So I just, who knows what will happen. But a different Mew altogether. This new Mew latched right onto me, but the call of home, the mystery jungle may take this Mew away from me too. So I guess I'll keep things the way they are for now. <laughs> Immediately, I just assume this Mew is fickle. It'll probably leave one day. Best not to get attached. Good morning, Neon! Let's work hard out there again today. Give it all you got out there, team. I messed that up horribly. Another new friend! I'm so happy, bud. I hope that doesn't mean less food for me. This just makes it a little bit awkward. Yeah, let's have fun out there today. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. I can't believe I actually got to meet Mew. Such a rare Pokemon. I mean, technically you already met Mew through the power of Gabriel. Try your best out there today for the Expedition Society. Good luck, Neon. One more thing. Good luck to you too, Mew. All of a sudden, I feel so sleepy. I think I'll go back to bed. And unless something happens when we exit the gates, then can we... <laughs> I assume we can go to Serene Village and give everybody, like, weird feelings. Once again today, it's time for martial arts training. Everyone, give it your all. My dad told me that it's all thanks to you that peace returned to our world. Thanks! I want to be strong like you someday, Neon. That kid you, with you is cute. How do you know Mew is like a kid? Mew just looks like Mew. I wonder what level are you? Don't even know. Ah, there you are. Level 40. Kid my ass. I have been I fought for a dark god. And apparently this newborn child is stronger than me. Oh, I thought it was Gabriel at first, but it isn't. Something made me think it was Gabriel, though. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. It's like having somebody who's a ghost, but not a ghost at the same time. Filling the role of they once were. It's not kidnapping if they just follow you home. Thankfully, peace returned to our world. Thanks. It's all thanks to you, beep, beep, beep. Thank you so very much, beep, beep, beep. Hey, Neon. Oh, who's that with you? We've never met before, have we? What a cutie! I still miss Gabriel. Hey, Neon! Get back! Who's that? What a cute shade of pink! I like to imagine that, like, even if this was, like, ancient 100-plus-year-old Mew, everybody would be saying the same thing. Hey, Neon! You really grew up well. Even though you only really taught me, like, children's stories. At the same time, I think, like, after fighting Dark Matter, I think my character would be like, I could go, I, I wouldn't mind going back to school for a little bit. You know, not having to save the world and risk my life and limb. It's nice to relax at the cafe from time to time. Do, do, do. Let's 
if everybody's home. Esper does not seem to be home. We'll have to double check if we can bring Esper along. For an adventure. And hey, Kirkosta. Oh, it's you, Neon. Huh? Is that Gabriel? No, it isn't. What's wrong with me? They don't look anything alike. I guess I'm getting old. Well, that's just sad. This is where I used to live, where my not-dad <laughs> lured me in and eventually one day tried to murder me. Well, I guess technically succeeded, because he did turn me to stone. And this is a place of emotional significance to me. Now I wonder what it would be like if there was, like, a Pokemon mystery dungeon done in the styles of, like, Tales of Symphonia and stuff. You walk around, you get random, like, uh, conversation opportunities. Do, 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 do. Have an adventure with Mew! You can't use a preset team for this adventure, but you can take one more Pokemon. Interesting. Didn't mean to click that and activate that scene. I wanted to look at my... my orb. Hmm. Expedition list. By place. Let's see. Let's go to the mystical forest on the air continent, then. Come along, Mew. We're gonna take you across the entire ocean. Well, then again, I guess we already did that, because we had to go from the grass continent to get here. It was just funny that Mew is like, Oh, hey, a visitor in this deep, dark jungle. I'm going to follow you all the way home. <laughs> Let's talk about ramming into each other. Well, that's not a conversation for polite society at all. Wow, that was a good fight. I don't think we could have had a fight here in the middle of town. In the middle of town land. Oh, and by his introduction... The other two that he was already linked to. Hey, Sparkly. Uh, another Sparkly! I should probably manage my inventory. Like, again? Yeah, because we need more... Orin berries. Just in case. They say that staring at my antlers make others drowsy. Don't ask me why. You can now go to the mysterious plains and the small sand dune, and the berry forest, and the forest of bounty. We're gonna go to the mystical forest. Now let's see. Let's see, by Pokemon name. E... Nope, Esper not available. Sadness. I'm trying to think. Hey, now what, Gabite? You were the first boss we ever fought. Let's make you come along. And here, you have 
<laughs> you can have the... Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Damn it. Yes, I want to go to the mystical forest. Let's -a go. And already, a power Y for you. I may not be able to move, but I don't need to to kill you. Honestly, I'm most surprised that we didn't just go back to the Tree of Life to be like, Xerneas, you motherfucker, where is my friend? Get blasted, you fool. Ah, more petrify wands. Huzzah! All right, this is Apple Haven. I love the music. The music in this game is just so good. Man, Mystery Dungeon music is just so good. It's like a genre onto itself. How dare you hit the ally with your horrific abilities of abominable strength. Ah, lullaby. Perfect. Allows me to, to annihilate my enemies while they sleep. Just like they deserve. You kill him. And I'll go ahead and do that. Raise my HP. Kill him. How to manage your party? Just shove them down a hall. The perfect way to do things. I wonder what Mew is thinking about all this. Yay, murder! Untold violence beyond my comprehension. God, the music is so good. Get Aurora beamed, idiot. Although I wonder why Mew followed, if it was just because out of boredom. It's like, oh hey, a visitor. Oh no, the visitor is leaving. I have to follow immediately. It's just oddly, like, what's the word? Just underwhelming, but like, in a good way. Because, like, you're expecting something to happen when you meet a Mew. Because who knows? Maybe it is just a Mew, and it's not the Mew. Then again, Caracosta 
got the vibe that it was Gabriel, so maybe it is, like, Mew Reborn. Because there was the Mew of the Ancient Past, who got reborn as Gabriel. And then for whatever reason, Gabriel then had to be swept away. I wonder for what mythical, legendary purpose it was required that it happen. Show me in the terms of service of legendary Pokémon that he had to leave after saving the world. Or is it like a joint thing is like, in the matter of like a legendary Pokémon or a human going on an adventure to save the Pokémon world, one of them has to leave. And then if there is both a human and a Pokemon, we enter double jeopardy. Can't believe Arceus himself was like, please save the world, I saved the world and this is my reward. He said the reason he had to go is because a part of him was destroyed with Dark Matter since Mew was part of why Dark Matter came back. But yeah, like, that was- I thought that was more just like, oh, Dark Matter was made up of all the negative emotions of Pokémon, and that included the negative emotions of Mew as well. So just like, how come nobody else disappeared? I mean, I was also there in the ancient times to defeat Dark Matter. Then again, I think... Like, uh... Because didn't they say also that Behem wasn't the reason that my memory got wiped but like Xerneas or something? I forget. Wait, just overall... It just feels weird. Especially because it was obvious that, like, or at least, or at least seemed to be, that, like, blah, blah, blah. What's the, I'm trying to get my words correct. Because it seemed like everything was fine until Xerneas reminded him. And it seemed like Xerneas did have to remind him for some reason. Like, I don't know. Could be I'm just overthinking it. <laughs> the real question is, did you A, kidnap this child, B, adopt this child, or C, be adopted by this child? <laughs> as somebody else said, or as Rocha said, all of the above. Definitely. You're a human. Humans always play by different rules for whatever reason. And it was Mew that wiped your memory. Man, <laughs> Mew played, like, super fast. Had to... Well, then I gotta get... Because it's weird. Because Nuzleaf said my memory disappeared after being hit by... Behem. So that kind of implies that my memory did disappear... Like... After I was attacked by Nuzleaf and the Behem. So that means that, like, some aspect of Mew has to still exist to be able to then wipe my memory. But at that time, Mew was also already Gabriel in Serene Village. I don't know. Things are weird here. Legendaries are weird. In theory, he would have disappeared anyway. Xerneas just made sure he'd know why. Hmm. Guess that makes sense. Kind of like how... Hmm. I guess, like, technically how... 
Guard of War told, like, the rescue team human that they were gonna disappear right before they did. <laughs> what I imagine of it, you went on the attack not because you recognized them as enemies, but probably because they attacked first, I imagine. That's how I imagine it, at least. Yeah, it's just the fact that we don't uh, remember that. So that, like, literally we get here, they attack us, and then our memory gets wiped mid-fight. Because we only wake up after... Like, the game starts with us alone by the lake. And then the Behem come in and Nuzleaf, like, tricks us. But he says that, like, we had been fighting before that. And he set everything up after we got conked out. So it's just, <laughs> it's just kind of a jerk move of Mew. It's just like, oh no, I have to wipe your memory too. And I was kind of late on that <laughs> while you're mid-fight. <laughs> then again, I guess maybe it's possible Mew put the idea of using Amnesiac me into Nuzleaf's head so that like, they wouldn't just immediately murk me while I was knocked out. Who knows? We cannot understand the mind of Mew. The mind of Mew is an enigma. But I guess when it comes to, like, the... Mew has to leave thing, I think I just kind of, like, uh... Put on, like, the same human expectations. But for Mew, so, like, the humans come in, they do what they need to do, and then they have to leave. And then it just kind of felt like... That's, like, uh... The same was happening to Mew. I may need to go back and rewatch the scene. Ah, perfect. I didn't even look at the job for this one. So good thing I have an abundance of apples, and it wasn't the eye drop seed mission. That would have been bad. Somebody picked up my power boost X. They must die. <laughs> They're like, come get me an apple. You are in the same room as an apple. You have an old apple. <laughs> Part of why you needed your memory wipe too is uh, so you face dark matter with a clean slate. Yep. <laughs> that, that jumped back at me when you said that. No baggage or animosity. If Gabriel still remembered being you, he would have accepted it in the end. Hmm. Well, to be fair, Nuzleaf and the 3P him were probably not a match for a post-world save hero, so maybe Mew weakened the player and the memories were wiped a little slow. Maybe. Will you accept bad poison? How dare. That'd be kind of funny. You come and you save someone, they immediately try to murder you. He wouldn't have accepted Dark Matter typo, changing the message a fair bit. <laughs> Although that's kind of a big gamble on Mew's part. Well, there's at least one more beyond here. Because it's just like, what if, like, uh, the new reborn Mew also didn't accept <laughs> Dark Matter? They're like, you hurt my pops, I'm gonna kill you. It was just by pure happenstance. 
that a good Mew personality won through. We shall kill you. <laughs> While Aurorus went to <laughs> went to their MacGuffin. There you go. Oh, uh, there you go. Your treasure is now yours. <laughs> well, it's a chance compared to a sure failure. That's true. It's just kind of funny that like any other, like, because like in a way. There was the opportunity for this to be just a normal mystery dungeon game where, like, Mew summons the hero to be nice and uh, accept dark matter. They find the right human to do it. And then the human just, like, happenstances to find a partner that also accepts dark matter. But in this case, Mew is like, I'm going to be the hero's partner. It'll be me. Good job heading back to Lively Town. We worked really hard today, eh? What do you say, Neon? I feel like we've gotten pretty good at this exploring stuff. Aren't I pretty handy to have around, don't you think so? Really? You've been trying really hard, and you're already strong to begin with. All right! Neon thinks I'm great. I am great. <laughs> I can do anything. Just you watch me. <laughs> You'll see. What? That's just like... But we still got our tasks as Junior Expedition Society members to do. So we've got to be sure to keep carrying out our expeditions. You've given me PTSD. Gabriel... Huh? What's the matter? For just a second there, you really did look like Gabriel. <laughs> it's like you're on another planet, Neon. You're a million miles away! Oh, huh? did you hear a tummy rumbling? Was that your tummy? Then I guess it was my tummy? Ah, who cares? Let's go get supper. Feel like I'm being watched again. Huh? I feel like I'm being watched. Come on, Neon, hurry up! Swirlix is gonna eat everything! I imagine Mew wouldn't have had a normal upbringing too, like Gabriel did. So didn't have perspective on of how negativity is natural. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> now that my brain goes like, wouldn't it be funny if there was a mystery dungeon game that was like a stealth sequel to this? where you played through the ancient timeline. Of course, it would probably end up pretty easily showing up as, aha, you're fighting dark matter. I don't know, I think that'd be funny to a degree. The next morning. Good morning, Neon. Let's work hard out there again today. Give it your all out there, team. But who is following us? Who is mysteriously following us? It seems the Pokemon Nexus on the second floor is updated. Of course it is. We got a lot of expedition points with that marathon. Make sure you're home in time for dinner. Or what? You'll eat all our food? You'll eat us out of home and expedition society? What will our rewards be for... Ranking up to silver, I believe. Huzzah. Two iron, a joy looplet, and uh, a bunch of cold bars, and a few uh, new dungeons. And here's a juicy bit of news. It seems Regigigas Gigas and crew have appeared in Triangle Temple. Mesprit seems to have appeared at Hot Lake. And that's not all. You can listen to new music. Didn't upgrade my bag, though. Sadness. Ah, now we're connected to the Bubba Ba. 
the Nectar Valley team. Perhaps I should go back to the prehistoric ruins. I haven't done a thorough enough investigation of everything there. I did get turned to stone last time, didn't get a finish. Try your best out there today for the Expedition Society! I wonder if Jirachi's just asleep. Yep, just asleep. Mew is adorable. Stop slacking off over there! Get over here and help me! We have to make our deliveries! Oh, did these guys join? I'm going to do my best to keep up with Crocodile on the job! Get a lot of this! I finally found a job! I'll be delivering milk! Pretty cool, huh? Before, you were delivering, uh... Like, ominous notes of woe. Now you deliver milk. It's almost time to prepare dinner, but I'll do my best. From across the continent. From what I recall, the island on the map is Malwile's, uh, in Malwile's room is actually the prehistoric ruins island, which is a neat detail. I've got the day off today. There's something special about the cafe on your day off. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I wonder if, like, Pokemon cooks lace the f any food with Blast Seed if they want it to be extra spicy. We're gonna go... Open up this singular box we got. What will be inside? Ah, Carbos. Neat. Let's see. Oh, wait, not you. Let's see. Any other things? Two iron and then a diddly D. A zinc. Check our connection orb. Let's see. <laughs> Why don't you come to my secret base for fun? Uh, in the spiral vortex of hell? Why are you hanging out there? Murder? Will you come see me? Apparently super difficult. Of course, we'll check out Serene Village, because we can. Then we'll need to decide what missions to do. What missions to risk. And nope, place seems just about the same. Expedition list. Let's go by place. Cape of Wonders has five billion things. Go visiting the a secret base, rescue a uh, seal with lantern, defeat Barboach, rescue Magikarp, and then rescue Carvana. Huh, I don't think it would be that bad. Because it seems to just go to level f to floor eight, and there's Valley of the Winds. All right, let's see. Cape of Wonders, which is on the Mist Continent. We'll go give that a try. We'll need to bring like a grass type along for all the presumable water types that are going to be there. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -ba.
I do find it kind of amusing that this is just like a semi-modern city compared to all the other places. All the places we can go. Well, apparently this is a super difficult. Well, maybe we should do Force of Fairy since it's very difficult as opposed to the other one. Check out Snover and check out Vinylites. Well, I guess let's do Forest of Fairies then. It's a little bit easier. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, let's bring. Wait, <laughs> you only have like one fighting attack move. I, for I completely forget what fairy is good against. I know it's good against, like, uh, blah, 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 dragons. I know, let's bring Victini along. Because why not? Fighting Dragon in Dark. Like, I had the... Small, uh, like... Leaning towards, like... Would it be good against... Like, Dark... Well, that's not good. In the Destiny Bond status, the Pokemon will take damage matching the Pokemon dealt to the Pokemon who used Destiny Bond. The stats will go away after a while or when the Pokemon who used Destiny Bond faints. Why do you have more health than me? How dare you. Also, Destiny Bond is bullshit. <laughs> The only type of Pokemon that should have Destiny Bond is one that I can one-shot. I guess since there's gonna be Destiny Bond assholes, we'll bring that along. Ah, Snover the asshole is here. We know we can't trust him. See, is there anything else? Oh yeah, there's one thing to swap. For some reason that looks like a wall to me. It's all purple. Jesus. Long corridor. Ah, type bulldozer. Huzzah. Hello, I know you're gonna be evil. Hey, welcome. Is what you expected me to say? Haha, <laughs> you'd have to be a fool to just come waltzing in here. It is I, Snover, leader of Team Rogue. It's your own fault for allowing yourself to be fooled. Oh no, it's not Mr. Nuzleaf. If I wanted to, I could just run straight to the... Billy D, but Petrify Orb. Okay, that's bullshit. Fuck off. <laughs> you should not have room-wide moves. It's bullshit. Room-wide moves are evil. Stop. Oh, 
we're gonna have to go find him. Big muscly polyrap. How could we miss? Who even are you? One at a time. Very rude. Double rude. God damn it. Stop it. Traps are stupid. Up and at him. Silly that, like, <laughs> we're gonna have a room full of enemies and traps. It's just like, why? Why would you do that? It's already a room filled with more enemies than you can possibly face at one time. Why also throw traps in there that don't activate for the enemies? It's just a very mean thing to do. At least I get a box. Why even? Try to beat up a lot of paralyzed enemies, and the game is like, here, have five traps in a row. No healing is illegal. Come on, get punched. I'll go ahead and use an elixir, because I can. Now gather up all the emerald dust. The funny thing is, trap proof probably wouldn't even be that good because all the traps are probably gone. Punch the fairy. Why are you fast? Stop. Okay, game, you're being a cunt. That many misses in a row should just not be able to happen at all. While a Pokemon is affected by the infatuated status, it will sometimes fail at attacking or using a move. The status goes away on its own after a time, but if you get into trouble, try using curing the item with a status. And now, at least you got paralyzed. Why are you this fucking fast, you asshole?
<laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. You've been evil for years. You haven't changed at all. I won't ever trick you again. Please forgive me. Like the other ones, like the Houndoom, I could maybe believe you. You're evil. Because it's a monster house. Clues in the name. It's not meant to be friendly. Well, obviously they live there. Why would you have traps all around your home? That is just very silly of them. It's not a house if there are traps there. Power boost Y. Give it to the boy. Oh, hey, a berry power. Perfect. And before I forget, need to do the vitamins. Increase the special defense. Probably me. Because I don't even know if, like, this Mew shares stats of Gabriel or anything. So I don't know if I want to give it stats. Or if Gabriel will even not even come back at all. But I have berry power, the fuck? How dare. Berry power should be all over everything. God himself should weep in the presence of berry power. Big ears would probably be helpful. Let us know where enemies are. And Barrage, also very good. What shall we replace? Probably, honestly, the super critical. It looks like I missed these. The defense. Nom. You fool, die. I'll just devour. <laughs> and you could have avoided all that too just by taking one step to the stairs initially. Like, would that have undone the monster house or would that have just... Because I don't even think, like, it gives you the opportunity to leave. Like, you have to, like, re-step onto the stairs. Because at first it asks you if you just want to... Like, leave the dungeon. So I don't think it would have helped my situation all that much. Hmm, super critical? I'll just nom, because I think it gives attack. Die. But overall, I'm feeling good about my decision to come to this place rather than the other super difficult. Because this is just very difficult, not super difficult. This place is much better than the other one would have been. That's just me. How come you get to cut corners? Oh, fuck off. Game, stop being a bitch. <laughs> get petrified, you cunt. dare you cut corners. Is illegal. Be sent to jail for fraud. And die. I guess I'll give you a toughness just in case. Then I'll just devour this toughness. 
And for some reason, I always want to look at, like, the client Pokemon when we're next to their item instead of looking at their item. I don't know why. It's just like for some reason, my brain defaults to, I need to look at my <laughs> client. I need to talk to them. I would not like to escape. We have jobs to do. And now we move along. thing that's oddly annoying is when the allies ask to use a, a like a berry or, or something it's just kind of annoying that it quit getting critical hits you fucking bastard quit doing major damage you fuck but back to my initial gripe is for whatever reason whenever like allies ask to use a Orin Berry and the like, anything you try to do before selecting the yes-no answer goes through afterwards, which is just kind of weird. Because, like, at that point, just let me choose to, like, do it and then let me decide. But I guess they want it to be like, oh, this is your turn. But I don't know, just like, it's a little weird for, like, do the movement, then it's like, hey. Like, it doesn't do the movement at first, and then asks you to, for the berry, then the berry happens, then your movement happens. Like, the order of events is just weird in my head. Oh, yeah, another berry power. I think this is the first time we've had two berry powers. And we'll just move along. Speed blitz this forest. Not more rain. Barrage guard, we'll just use it. Oh, hey, sparkly. Get Growlithe's treasure. Huzzah. Here you go, dear boy. Here's your precious. At least one more beyond this point, so we shall not leave. We shall leave the floor, but not the dungeon. How dare you, prepare to die. We have the power of the berries, you idiot. We do not get affected by your silly, pathetic powers. And another gold bar. Nice. I think that's the first time my barrage activated. I forget. Did this floor say a thing was here? No, then we shall move on. Ah, Vanalite. Will you also be bastard? I have a slumber orb, if you are. How 
dare you. Get to double slapped in the face. <laughs> Looking at that, my brain just goes, what? Did, are these people stealing from a high-value Kecleon shop? That was two vitamins. That was two vitamins that was picked up by monsters. Carbos increases speed always for me. Gotta go fast. Which means that you're the last... Of course, you got in the way of the vitamin carrier, you asshole. I was gonna head them off and kill them and take their take their stuff, and you got in my way. Which means any one of these days, I'm gonna run into vanillites, like Place of Doom, and potentially everything will go bad. Keep bubble beaming me. You'll die before I do. Power of iron, increase. Gather up all this Emera dust. Go ahead and give you a type bulldozer, because why not? Alright, clutch performer will just nom. I punch you from afar. Mirror code all you want. I punch you from afar. There is a lot of Emera dust in this place. Well, I can only assume that, like, Vanillite's place isn't going to be a monster house. Because, like, all the monster houses usually end up being, like, exactly where the... Like, exit is too, so. Goodbye, Togepi. Although this does remind me I should probably use an elixir before we get to the presumed place. Huh. This big empty place, I thought it'd be it. So many emerald dust places. That I want to use it, not set it. Then I punch you from afar. Then you bubble be me. And then I punch you from afar. And then I get to do a, I get to punch you twice in a row. Get smacked. And a level up. Huzzah! Hmm, power boost Y. Guess we can replace that toughness. Hello, Venolite. Please don't try to kill me. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Let's go talk in the back. Okay, this is a happy go lucky time place. It would have been very cruel to have two Monster House encounters in one dungeon. That was fun. Play with me again. Did you think it was going to be a Monster House? Uh, the last one was, but at the same time, I was expecting that one because he is a renowned monster. Let's dance together next time. Jin, Jin. I maybe look like I have a cold, but I don't. Please don't worry. I like that the... Bergamite was just like, did you think this was going to be a monster house? Well, there's enough items in here for it to be. Sure, let's get out of here. We have nothing else to do in here. Da. Are we going to run into... The, my stalker? Apparently not. We didn't even get a cutscene. Oh, are we gonna get a cutscene? 
You had another great day, huh, Neon? He really seems to have become a part of the life here. Working for the Expedition Society sure is a lot of fun. We get to go all kinds of places and meet all the Pokemon there. Hey, Neon, before I came here, you had another partner named Gabriel, right? I bet Gabriel had a really great time here, too. But now Gabriel's gone away somewhere. I bet Gabriel must be really sad about that. I sure hope that your friend Gabriel comes back soon. It would be honestly borderline hilarious if it turns out this Mew isn't actually Gabriel. And Gabriel comes back and then we just have this Mew with us. I don't know. That would be kind of funny. Uh, well, I'm pretty bushed. I'm going to hit the hay. Nighty night, Neon. Mew. The music is nice here. Thank you. But I still want to know who it is that's haunting us. Good morning, Neon. Let's work hard out there again today. Give it your all out there, team. Do 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 do. Do do. We'll quickly check our connections if there's anything that wants to be. Yeah. Come on, select the Celio. What's past that point? Probably another door. We are truly abominable. Only the brave may step up. Meanwhile, you are an easy, easy fight, apparently. Do -do 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 -do. We'll quickly go to accept our reward from Mama Kangaskhan. Yoink. My dad said we're going to stay in town for a while, so I can still hang out with everybody. Starly, I'm so glad to see you. We can be together. My dad and Starly's dad were talking. I wonder if that's what, what it was about. We're always working so hard. We'll do our best to plant, plant more flowers. Let's do our best today. Ah. I think we'll stop there, maybe? Because we've been going for three hours, we managed to get at least something akin to Gabriel back. A part of Gabriel, if you will. I guess we'll quickly check out Serene Village, see if anything changed there. And then we'll see. Nope, nothing seems to have changed. Let me check. I guess we could do Sunbathed Garden. Rescue mission with Vaporeon finds shield on. We'll do one more. We'll do this one quick one. Well, first I need to manage my inventory. But we'll do that one extra one, and then we'll call it. What's a joy looplet anyway? Boost exp uh, the experience. Neat. And this is why we carry a million <laughs> Reviver Seeds, though. Just in case. Ah, but I guess we'll go first back to Lively Town, open up those boxes. We'll go open up the boxes, then go do Sunbathed Garden. And then probably end things, which will, <laughs> it'll probably end on a cliffhanger. Open this here box. It's a gold bar. Open this here box. Another gold bar. We're going to tank the, the, what's the word? The value of gold in this land. I say, let's a go. Victinia seems to always be available. 
which is hilarious. Hmm. More payback, we'll just nom. This layout rem really reminds me of Gates to Infinity. Like, yeah, these room layouts really remind me of Gates to Infinity. Dun -dun -dun. Because Gates to Infinity had an oddly recognizable, like, room layout a lot of the time. And this definitely feels like it. It's not V-Wave season, season, so he's got a lot of free time. I wonder if there are, like, any fanfics that actually include V-Waves into things. There has to be, like, one super mega fanfic out there that's like, I'm going to include everything from every mystery dungeon and fold it all into a comprehensible work. There has to be, like, one that's done it. Da -da -da. Ah, dead end. We usually don't run into that many dead ends. I smack you. I annihilate you. I get spun around, baby, like a record, baby. You are annoying. Die. It was just a conga line of enemies. And again, another dead end. Die. Let's get out of here. I don't anticipate next time stream being all too much in the way of story content, but the good news is that means we get to see you suffer on boss game boss fights. Oh boy. That is where all the Reviver Seeds will come into play. The power of <laughs> Reviver Seeds will save the day. Yeah. Now I want to give an apple. Have an apple, Snorlax. Actually, another one would be a really appreciated. No, you don't. You just need to be saved from starvation. You don't get another apple. Let's not escape. There's more to do. I might give some of, like, the boss dungeons a shot. But it really depends on, like, how much, like, uh, post-game, post-game there is. Because I don't mind some, like, go here, do this post-game. 
but I really do like at least ones that have a veneer of, like, setup and payoff to them that aren't just, here's a thing to do, go do it. Although if there was any mystery dungeon game to have a good, like, go here, do this kind of setup, it's definitely this one with the connection orb and all the individual Pokemon. I completely forgot that those pads existed. I do like that the auto walk stops you right before like an enemy comes into your range. So that you can get the drop on them. I'm sure that Vaporeon will be fine fighting this fire type. to die. Get hit, become lullaby. At least we're getting a bunch of apples into the apple stockpile. How dare you. He locked us all in there by blocking a single one of us. That's very rude. You'll kill him. Didn't we have a... Uh, we did not. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't an Imra in our inventory. Taking up space when it could either be used or... Slotted in. You are going to die. You fool. Someone's ahead. We will either save or murder them. It felt like we were... Well, that direction, but that's a dead end. Well, now that's v very rude. I guess it wouldn't hurt to carry around, like, one Heckaberry for the future when traps like that exist. How dare you. Roar is such a weird move. You're just like, I'm going to scream at you and maybe do uh, a little bit of damage. There you go. Thank you for coming with me all the way. I couldn't move an inch myself. You saved me. Thank you so much. 
That is the power of expedition. And now we can force them to come with us into dungeons at any time again. Mwahaha. By Vaporeon's introduction, Eevee and Jolteon. I'll collect all the Eevee Lucians. I am, uh, I am poisoned, so let us do get out of here. Another. I do find it funny that, like, whenever there's going to be a little cutscene in here, it just shows us the Exhibition Society building before going in. Neon, let's rest up for another day of exploring. Nighty night. Is something going to happen in the morning? Or is that just... Because <laughs> I don't think that there were that many times where Gabriel himself said, like, nighty night or good night. But a lot of times with Mew. Mm -hmm. uh, is it morning already? We're not talking in brackets. The breeze... Sure feels nice on my face. Ah, uh, did I get sent back in time? That would be hilarious in a way if, like, a new game plus to a degree was us as the character knowing what's going to happen. That would be kind of funny. I guess it's time to wake up. Why are we here? Why are we at the hill? What in the world? This is... Serene Village? Why am I here? Did I cry myself to sleep and have delusions of finding Mew? Or is this a dream? I fell asleep in my room at the Expedition Society headquarters. So how did I end up here? Is it just me here? Ah! My head! Did somebody hit me or something? I can't remember. I've already forgotten so much of my life before, Yaren. And now I'm forgetting more? This isn't good. I've got to try to remember. I know I was turned into a Pokemon and helped to defeat Dark Matter. Then Gabriel disappeared, and that was when I met Mew. That's right, Mew! Mew came to live with me, I remember, the first few days. But what happened after that? What's going on? Well, great! We have a mystery, gang! But I guess this will be the perfect place to stop for now. Because we have a little bit of a mystery on our hands. To keep us intrigued. I'm going to assume that, like, there's only a little bit left. <laughs> Mysteries in this game? Never. Because either this is a dream, and Mew is, like, digging into our dream, but, like, or we're actually here somehow. Then again, I guess Mew could teleport, maybe. I don't know. And again, there's always that weird presence that was following us. It's just mysteries, mysteries, mysteries that we have to deal with next time. I both, like, I both love and hate that we found Miu and Miu joined the team, but isn't Gabriel. Like, in a way, it would be kind of interesting if... Gabriel was just gone and it was Miu that we had to accept for who they are now. But God, that would be painful. This is getting very close to the final dungeon that I think... Hmm. I'm trying to think. I guess we can go. Go on. If it, we're getting that close. Because if there was a bit, bit more... I suppose it wouldn't hurt to do a little bit more. Mew's role feels very much like the protag trying to fill a void, trying to make Mew fit the mold of what's missing. Kind of, but at the same time, kind of not, because... Like, it's not like we said to him, like, no, you have to be Gabriel, and Mew followed us. It's, it feels more like Mew is interested and intrigued by us and just decide to stick around
Well, nobody here. So either this is a memory. A dream. Ah! Oh, my head! I remember! Remember what? Mew. Mew suddenly fell ill and wouldn't wake up. I've got to hurry back to Lively Town. Okay, how did our memories get annihilated? Eh, what's wrong? Quite the grim look on your face there. Oh, I didn't realize it was you. When did you come back to the village? I have no idea. Hey, hello! Is that you, Neon? Long time no see. It is the first time you've been home in so long, you know. You should relax. Everything is weird. How did we get here? And why did Mew fall ill? Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna... I can't remember Mew's... I can remember Mew's collapsing, but that's about it. And so I need to get to the Expedition Society. What else happened, though? It's always so bustling here. No matter when I come, I really enjoy it. Huh? You look like you're in a hurry. Did something happen? I don't know. That's the problem. I don't even know how I got to Serene Village. He wasn't here? But then where? It's not that Mew has been unresponsive like this for very long. It seems to come and go, rather, with these spells coming on unexpectedly. How did Zatu get here? Can you see anything to explain it? It is the influence of dark matter that causes this affliction. D dark matter? Dark matter was not completely erased from this world. A part of it remains within Mew. That's right, now I remember. We called Zatu to come have a look at Mew, which ended up with us learning that there was still some dark matter within Mew. That's when Zatu explained... Um, Serene Village? Yeah, I want to go, I want to see it. Right, and then... I thought that if Mew just saw the view from the hill of the big tree, that it might cure whatever was wrong. Wow, it's beautiful. What a place! This is just weird. <laughs> what? Huh? Mew is gone? Before I knew what had happened, Mew had somewhat, somewhat disappeared. Ah! That's right. That was when I was hit by someone or something. I must have fainted there on the hill. But then, what about Mew? Neon! Mawile Ampharos! My memory is fucked. Neon, where's Mew? Not with you, hmm? What? You were attacked in Serene Village? We came to talk to you because we just received a worrying letter. A letter? Neon led the letter that Ampharos is holding. We must destroy dark matter. We do not. This world will be consumed by nightmares once more. That is why Mew must be destroyed in the purifying cave? That is how peace of this world can be protected? You must accept this, Expedition Society, protector of peace? Wh what is this? I fear that Mew may have been abducted by the author of this letter. No way! The purifying cave is a place of power able to put sp the spirits of Pokemon to rest. Whoever's behind this plot must wish to use that power to end Mew. To end Mew? I understand this wretch's desire to strike out against dark matter. However, I cannot agree to this. No matter the reason erasing a Mew from this world is something I will not allow. Ampharos. Neon, please hurry to the purifying cave. I will begin rounding up the troops. The Expedition Society is moving out. Neon, it's time for action. Well, that's sudden and worrying. I heard everything, Neon. The Chief and Maul are out getting everyone together. Also, now to call everyone, too. So hurry to Purifying Cave, Neon. Who could it be? I wonder, though. Whoa! I wasn't snacking just now, really! I really totally wasn't! I have no idea who it could possibly be, though. Or who would, like, write like that, too? It seems like there's a hubbub down below. What's the deal? Kidnapping and potential murder. And the 
fact that it happened at Serene Village... I just wonder, like, who exactly it could be. And I'll take an extra blast seed, too. Well, off I go to Purifying Cave. Was there, do you have anything? To, no, I don't want to talk to you. What about you? Nope, same thing. Let's go to Purifying Cave. Bring Esper along? I cannot. What about anybody from the... Nope, can't bring many Pokemon along. Hmm, back to default with you. Hmm, I guess, uh, well first let's see. I want to look, because you have just tackle, so you're useless to me. Come along, Victini. You've been along for the ride. And... T -t -t Let's see. Who else, who else do I want to bring along? Let's bring Gabite along, why not? Wish I could have brought, like, any of the school allies along. This is definitely a speed along. No idea how big this dungeon could be. Like, the only person I could think of that would, like, be story important enough to do this would be, like, Nuzleaf. That's the only, like, the closest thing I can think of to a character that would want to do this. Or maybe it could just be, like, hmm, it could be someone maybe that we, like, interacted with in the past that I'm just forgetting. But the real question is, how would they have known about, like, the part of dark matter? That was within Mew. Just kind of hilarious. They're like, I destroyed Dark Matter, had a piece of me have to go. Surprise. Dark Matter now is a part of Mew. They had a little bit of a trade exchange. Hell yeah, barrage. Head this way to get this one at least. Whirlwind? Holding a looplet this Emra since the target flying ten tiles away when you attack by pressing A. Huh. Interesting, I guess. Gather up all this. Ooh, a bar berry power. Hell yeah. Hmm. 
It's just that at the same time, it doesn't feel like Nuzleaf would hurt like anybody close to me after everything that happened. This is some nice music, though. Hell yeah. Despite the confusion, God damn you. Nom. Yay, bite leveled up. Guess we can try look for more emeralds down here, just maybe. Nope. Jerk. Oh, fuck off. Game can triply fuck off now. You confuse me into a summon trap? Game, you have planned this. Petrify. Fuck off. God damn you, game. You're just trying everything. And now we shall annihilate them one by one for their treachery. God, that just feels so, like, scripted by the game. You confuse me, and then my uncontrollable, confused walking leads me into a trap that summons more enemies. Sure game. Surprised this wasn't another solo dungeon, honestly? Oh yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. Because... Basically every other, like, story-important post-game dungeon so far has been a solo. So yeah, it's kind of interesting that this is one that you actually bring your allies in for. I wonder why. Maybe they're like We've already had the player go through a lot of dungeons alone. Like, it, it would make more sense if I could bring in other, like, story important characters, like anybody from the Expedition Society, or, like, Esper or Deerling or something. I guess warp payback wouldn't be the worst thing. But it is just kind of interesting that they're just like, hey, you get thrown in here. Uh, this place also has a couple of water types who would have made solo dungeon fire types, grass types, and water types. Mm. Yeah, maybe they just figured it would be nicer of them to let you have backup in presumably the final dungeon. So you didn't suffer through the type advantages and disadvantages, especially if they come to have a boss at the end here. God, there's so many enemies. Not like I really get that much out of the boxes.
get blown back. Well, that's fucking bullshit. Fuck off. Room-wide attacks are just stupid. Especially when they affect you in the mouth of a tunnel. They're not in the room. They're right outside the room. How dare you hit them anyway. God, what would a barrage, like, dual chop look like? This Pokemon will faint in three turns after it gets a status condition. Heal it by using Refresh or a Heal Seed as soon as possible. I do not have a Heal Seed on me. Personally, I think it would be nice if you could, like, faint the Pokemon that did it. And then it would not happen. Status immunity. I think that's just, like, a chance. I guess better than nothing, maybe. I guess replace the whirlwind. It's not going to be that good of a thing all the time. Blinker seed is bleh. Alliance loop is bleh. Move along. Let's give it to you. You're running a little low. Hey, Sparkly. Got a gold bar. Keep on moving. Emera Search. Sometimes makes enemy Pokemon drops an Emera when you defeat them. Hmm. Honestly, PP Restore. But I did drop a box. I don't care about wooden stakes. Should probably eat an apple. Before I start taking food damage. And give an elixir to Gabite so he can dual chop some more fools. wondering who is strong enough to like bash us over the head and knock us out like Behem, Nuzleaf, Xerneas maybe? It has to be somebody decent at like following us around It's just that, like, last time it was someone following us around, it was actually Esper and not the Behem or anything. Aha! Get confused, idiot! He flew up high. 
And now you're confused and paralyzed. You fool. The most stealthy, the giant rainbow deer. To be fair, could also turn into a flo floating ball up in the sky. Anything is possible? Ah, the warp payback finally kicked in. I was wondering what that was. What the fuck? Why'd you go down there? I guess to get the Emera dust, but still why? Another reason why mouths of, like, pathways shouldn't be considered part of the room. But god, this is good music. I think I recognize, like, some... Like, note progressions here or there. Which maybe could just be my brain... melting. Why even is there a- I- well, I was gonna say, why is there even a cave that, like, is used to, like, put souls to rest? And I was like, well, I guess if you wanted to get rid of a ghost type for good. We'll just have to see. Nom. Man, flinching, getting confused, and annihilated all at the same time. Haha! Get way, get warped away, payback. You idiot. You dare use your ancient power on me, you fiend. Guard boost, I'll just nom. I punch you. Grab a bit more Emera dust and then head to the exit. Once again, that, that warping away payback really kicking in now. Stairs, so I guess we'll give it to you. Again, why'd you enter into there when an enemy was coming at us already? It's always Victini. just gave me power, idiot. Then I drink. And then I eat. But yeah, like that section right there just reminds me of something I don't know what it is. Yeah. 
Ah, that dizzying payback. <laughs> Paying dividends already. Because it wouldn't hurt to swap you out. Grab a gold bar and move along. I feel like I've made it pretty far. Oh, there's something up ahead. Mew! Stop! Stay back, Neon. Don't you touch that th- It's Nuzleaf, isn't it? Don't you touch that there, Mew! I... I know that voice. But it can't be. Not you. And the BEM. The then... The one who attacked me in Serene Village. The one who kidnapped Mew. That was all of you?! I'm out of sorrow, Neon. I know I've caused you no end of trouble, child. Truth is, I didn't want you to have to do this, but... We've got to wipe out that dark matter once and for all. We can't take it anymore. We caused so much hurt to good Pokemon. We can't go through that kind of thing again. I... I can understand that. I wouldn't want anything like that to ever happen again either. But... But that doesn't mean... But Mew! I'm sorry, Neon. But it's gotta end. You've just gotta accept this. Mew is disappearing. Is this really for the best? Really? Do I have to accept this? Is this really? Is this really? Is this for the best? No! This isn't what I want! I want us to stay together. If Dark Matter comes back, I'll beat it again! I can't do that again! I don't ever want... to have to say goodbye again. I don't know if that was me or Gabriel. That's... <laughs> Did Mew just have the Harmony sc or... Oh, huh? Is that... What? Okay, now there's a Mew and a Gabriel. I am confused. Gabriel! What in the world? Neon? So that's Gabriel. When I was sleeping, I could feel it. Your desperate wish, Neon. My... wish? I wonder who's saying that. That's right. Oh! You guys knew? Ampharos, Zatu, and Mawile too? I'm sorry, Neon. It was all done just to lead you here. Le to lead me? I saw it. I saw Gabriel sealed within Mew. I saw Mew's collapse. And I knew that it was not because of any hidden fragment of dark matter. It was because Gabriel still remained. <laughs> so did ev did these guys trick Nuzleaf and the Behem to bring Mew here? And I guess they needed me to actually feel intense emotions to bring Gabriel back. If only the barrier could be broken, Gabriel could return to this world. But it would be up to the strength of Neon's feelings in the end. That is what Zatu felt. And that is when Nuzleaf and the Behem came to talk with us. Really? You were in- But you were so sincere on your everything. Nuzleaf? They wanted to make up what, for what they had done to you, Neon. They've been searching all this time for a way to repay you. So when they heard from Zatu that there might be a way, a way for Gabriel to return to this world, they volunteered on their own to play this unsavory role. They tricked me into coming along with them, promising it'd be fun. But they knocked me over the head. And you just went with them? And that's how I ended up here. Well, you know what? I'm glad I did. Sorry about beating on you all when I first realized it was a trap. Yeah, that was a situation indeed. You whooped us good, kid. Well, that don't matter. Zatu, it really did work, right? Meanwhile, Gabriel's just unconscious on the floor. 
Is Gabriel really? You need not worry. Gabriel is back. I imagine consciousness will soon return to Gabriel. Yeah? Well, ain't that something, y'all? We finally went and did what's right. I'm feeling fine as cream gravy. Nuzleaf. Neon? Gabriel! Looks like we meet again. And it's all because everyone helped us. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Neon. Thank you so much. And so, Gabriel returned to the world of Pokemon. Mew went home to the Mystery Jungle, but he remains both a friend and ally. And promises to come help us whenever we're in need. Nuzleaf was accepted back by the Pokemon of the village. And is now living in Serene Village along with the Behem. And here in the Expedition Society in Lively Town... Morning, Neon! Here's to another exciting day! We may not have our old scarves anymore, but that doesn't change our friendship. Now it's time for another adventure! Huh! That was an interesting way to do it. Did not expect any of that! Didn't expect. <laughs> it's just kind of amusing that it was kind of like a conspiracy at the end. Do your best out there today, everyone. All right. Although it is kind of sad that we did lose our scarves. You too as well. Please put your hearts into it. By the way, I have a favor to ask you. Are the you two aware of what is known as the treasure collection? Treasure collection? It is a series of exceedingly rare treasures which are scattered across our regions. I'd like you to go on expeditions and search for them. May I borrow your expedition gadgets? Neon handed over the gadget. Let's see. There! Finished! Amphro entered something into the expedition gadget and handed it back. I've made it so that you may see the locations of the treasures in your expedition gadget. Any dungeons with this crown are ones which you need to go. Please go on expeditions to the places marked with a crown on your map. I've also included a treasure collection for you. You can check it to see whether or not you have already obtained the treasures in question. Good luck on your expeditions and search of the treasure collection. One last thing. We Expedition Society members are also your friends. We'll be there to assist you at any point if you should need us. Please let us know if you'd like us to go on to a dungeon with you. <gasps> Super connected. You're now able to go on adventures of the members of the Expedition Society. These Pokemon are very motivated. Another fine day for an expedition, Neon. But that was very interesting. I feel like... Like, I don't know. Like, a bit more emotion could have been pounded into it, but... That was kind of cool. Though, like, in a way... They had to trick us for a good reason. Because <laughs> it's just like... No, Nuzleaf wouldn't, would he? But at the same time, he was controlled by the dark matter and feels mighty bad about it. Mm. So I don't know. I do like how Nuzleaf and his crew have a proper redemption with their actions. Unlike how Muna's gang kind of vanish after saving your life in the palace. That's true. <laughs> like, at least there's enough post-game where they actually show up again. Be he him and Nuzleaf. Good luck on your expedition today. There'll be delicious dinner waiting here for you. If you take too long, I'll eat your share. I do think that, like, I don't know, like, maybe a bit more grandiosity could be there. Maybe. There's so many things still left to investigate. Let's all do our best. But it was still very interesting. Just like overall, good luck with your work today. And also, please work on that treasure collection, too. The movements of the stars have returned to normal. I'm so glad it's another peaceful day. Yeah, there's just something about, like, how it, like, the flow of this post-game. Like, I think we might try to do the treasure collection. But yeah, just, like, the flow in the story, I think... 
I don't know, could have benefited from like so a little tweaks, but that was still pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Because <laughs> I was actually feeling things in the chest there. From here, majority of the post game is filling out the orb, making connections, facing bosses, and the likes. Hmm. I can't believe it. I lost something again. I have to go get it back. Gabriel Dion, let's do our best on expeditions. I do feel like that it was a tad rushed, but considering how long the main story is and the sheer amount of post game content. Although I am, like, on the side of, I kind of wish that, like... Because honestly, I, I wouldn't have minded it if there was, like, less in the connection orb. And less in, like, oh, the boss fights and everything, if there was more story. Because that's what I like out of these games, is the story. I need to, to trick others. But overall, it was still pretty nice. I should sing sometimes, too. I'll sing my heart out. It's like, it was still good. But... I still think that the Explorer's post-game is the best post-game. Help me underestimated this place! I do think that the, like, pacing-wise and, like, payoff-wise, I think that GTI's post-game, which is just, like, one small arc, is probably the best in terms of quality. And, like, I do enjoy that this was kind of like the same thing in a way. Where we kind of were trying to find ways to bring Gabriel back, and it's that story. So I do appreciate that. I kind of like this girl, and <laughs> we talk to him. He enjoys our teeth. Through the power of relationship advice. Glad we got to talk, huh? Who's on my mind? You have to ask that? Well, her name is Mil... No, I can't tell you. Ah! Melodic? I don't think we've even run into Melodic. But yeah, like... Out of all the post games... Like... Quality-wise, I think... GTI's is the best. I think overall, Explorers has the best post-game content. Because, especially because technically, it has the best playable epilogue in I, a special episode 6, I think it was? Basically, the uh, special episode that follows Dusk Noir and Grovile. Because that basically serves as a playable epilogue that wraps up a little bit. And plus, there's all the other, like post-game story stuff with Manaphy and then Dark Rye. Oh, Milk Tank. <laughs> My brain's just like, what's the old one with that starts with Mill? I didn't think of Milk Tank. Well, I guess it, it is his boss. That's kind of funny. Oh, but I guess we'll go check out Serene Village quickly. Adventures sound exciting, Wibble. I'll arrest anyone bad. Arresting, arresting. Protecting the safety around here. Beep, beep, beep. Safety first. I went out to see Xerneas, but I decided to give up on evolving. I thought I would get even bigger than Ursaring, but then I heard I would end up about the same size. That just wouldn't be, have been enough for me. And I mean, wouldn't it be weird to see two Ursaring hanging out together? You're gonna hear this. It's about Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa finally gave up on that silly evolution idea. Isn't it great? Welcome back, you two. Have you seen Mr. Caracoster and Mr. Nuzleaf yet? No, we literally just got here. Gabriel Neon, you guys have become really impressive. Get a load of this. We've decided to live in Serene Village, too. The other two are coming with me. The other villagers all accepted us. I mean, it's just really... 
I don't even know how to express my gratitude. I think my vice prince, the vice principal is funny. I like him a lot. Gabriel, Neon, welcome home. It is a good thing to take it slow and enjoy yourself sometimes. Out of the epilogues, I feel like this had the best ideas and concepts, but didn't really have time to execute upon them. That does, that definitely feels like it. Because the ideas is really cool, it's just like the overall execution and the pacing kind of hold it back a bit. Because like, up until Mew gets kidnapped, I think, it was going pretty, pretty good. Attention, your teacher has something to say. Now our teacher will come with us to kill people. I'm happy that we've talked about so many things. I'm really glad. Hmm. I'm just trying to think if I want to do, like, more post-game streams of, like, the treasure collection and the connection orb. <laughs> Mr. Watchhog, I came back from the dead! <laughs> A long discussion would be nice sometimes. <laughs> Talking about different things like this sometimes isn't bad, is it? We'll just wander around the town, talk to everybody, and then I'll give my overall final thoughts. I have something to tell you. Technically, you never graduated. Well, on the plus side, just 100% at Stardew Valley during the course of these streams. <laughs> That's fun. I really enjoy talking with you. I've made up my mind. Let me join your expedition, Neon. We're gonna have the whole of Serene Village invading a dungeon. Because really, I think it would have been pretty cool if we kind of, like, I don't know. If we kind of went back to kind of a slow burn slice of life segment that had good buildup again. I think that would have been good. I think that would have been amazing. <laughs> Just imagine, like, the first part of the game is slice of life slow burn in Serene Village. Then it kind of ramps up through Lively Town until Dark Matter. Then it winds down a bit through, like, Slow Burn, Slice of Life, trying to find Gabriel. You find Miu, you get to know Miu. And then, like, maybe a few other, like, side things open up before converging again for a climactic thing. Because maybe, like, during the hypothetical slow burn epilogue part, you meet a new Pokemon who would be that big, like, oh, like, uh, oh no, there's a piece of dark matter still about thing. And hell, maybe that, tie that in and actually do have it be, like, Gabriel's slash Mew's part of dark matter. And through the Tree of Life Harmony things, it stabilizes into Gabriel. Like, I don't know. I think there's a way to expand on what this post-game epilogue was. To make it really extraordinary. If I can be frank about it, I... And now Mr. Watchhog will also join us on our adventures. Oh my, it's the first time we agree on something. No doubt the results of my illustrious teach. And then we just stop listening to him. I would say this is the most apparent of the anniversary fan service of Zatu being front and center. Definitely, definitely. It's just kind of funny. But like... 
the blatant Zatu is back. But at the same time, that's kind of amusing to me. I hate it when they bother me. I want them to pamper me. Don't we all, Piplup? Don't we all? Oh, you're back? How irritating. No, I mean, um... Sometime soon, let's go on an adventure together. Welcome home, Gabriel and Neon. We may have had our differences, but I'm glad to see you guys again. Oh, welcome back, Gabriel and Neon. Call me anytime you want us to go on an adventure together. And now we unlock the ability to basically have all the major part one characters join us on adventures. Gabriel, Neon, welcome home! Welcome home, Gabriel and Neon. There's some other apparent fan service, but it's not directly story-related. Yep. Also, I remember hearing about an AU where Esper joined the Expedition Society during the epilogue, and I feel like that would have been really cool. It definitely seems like it would fit, because she does kind of join the Expedition Society during the, like, uh, Dark Matter stuff, so it would have been interesting if she was just, like, <laughs> like, once again a junior member that, like, sometimes is there. Maybe on the weekends. My body's very soft and bouncy. I'm imagining a Pokemon trembling in terror. How exhilarating. Well, we know Litwick's fetish. Neon. Well, I reckon... These here villagers have accepted them be him and me. Even after all we had done to him. They still went on and forgave us. I reckon I can't ever thank him enough. I do believe I'll do whatever I can for this here village from now on. If you should need me, I'll go on adventures with you. So well, uh, welcome home, I reckon. If there is one thing, if there is one story arc I wish they fleshed out more, it is the fam the the family connection between the main character and Nuzleaf. I feel like if there was like I don't know, like again if this was like transcribed into a story, then I would definitely have more moments with Nuzleaf and the main character as they kind of form that bond to make that betrayal all the more harsh. Because in the moment of the betrayal, you think it was all a lie. And then maybe later on, when they reconnect, you can have that big, like, familial connection again. And maybe Nuzleaf saying something along the lines of, like... Even if at the moment he thought they were just tricks and lies, he's come to value those moments. It's like, I don't know, just something... Stick with Gabriel. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. That's sweet. Da da da. Da 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 da. Wait, I picked up a good time to come here. Gabriel Neon, you're back. It's been so long. You should really stay a while. Welcome home, you two! For you two, this place must have a lot of memories, right? Can we talk about water sport? You can't actually bring Nuzleaf on a mission yet. I have no uh, clue why he said that. That is amusing. I want to be just like you, Neon, when I grow up. Well, don't worry. You can be sent into deathly danger right now. Come home! Deliver this item, please. Wow, it's been a while since we... Oh! <laughs> An Iggly buff wanting me to send a tiny Revira seed to a Normaldo. Huh. I guess things rhyme. I want to go to school. 
Good for you. Get an education. The scenery here really is beautiful, isn't it? But, I do believe that that shall be it for now. Maybe in the future I'll do some streams of, like, the collection and just random, like, connection orb stuff, maybe. But this is the end of the main circuit of Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. And for the foreseeable future, the end of our Mystery Dungeon experiences. Because I streamed uh, on and off, or did I even stream? It might have just been recordings. I forget, but I played and uploaded Blue Rescue Team a long, long time ago. And then I believe Explorers of Sky, I think that was my first game that I started at the beginning of this year, when I started having a schedule for my streams. Or maybe I started it, like, a little before that? I forget. D d d time is an illusion. And then we played GTI in... Well, no, it had to have been at the beginning of the year, because I played GTI in March after we played Platinum. I do not know what we're going to be playing next. I have some ideas. We could always go and do Pokemon Black or White, Generation 5. We could always jump and do a classical RPG like Alondra. I was taking a look at my various classical collection of RPGs. Could always do Final Fantasy VI. Or maybe Final Fantasy IV. I don't know. There's lots of games. I would recommend at least trying out some of the treasure hunting and boss fighting. They're all pretty fun, in my opinion. That's why I think, like, maybe occasionally I'll throw in a Super Mystery Dungeon after the fact thing. Like, maybe between games. Like, if I play, like, Alundra beat Alundra, I might throw in a Super Mystery Dungeon post-game stream just to buy myself time to decide, maybe make assets. <laughs> but as for the other stuff, how about Kirby? Maybe. There's a decent amount of Kirby games that I haven't played. But then there's like, I have just like so many games. I, I want to play Tales of Symphonia again and make use of a mechanic that's, like, kind of passively there that I never knew existed and want to try out for funsies. But then there's also, like, the other Tales games that I have and want to play. There's, like, uh, again, the other Pokemon games. Other Pokemon spinoffs, like Gales of Darkness. Like, maybe the Pokemon Rangers games, even though that would be hellish to like, play on, uh, emulator, because I don't have a way to record DS otherwise, but tons of other games, like, maybe Pikmin, like, I have a list here somewhere. Ba -da 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 -da. But I love this game. I guess I will quickly give my overall thoughts. Like, this game is utterly fantastic. The music is amazing. The characters are great. Like, the pacing was very, very nice. Like, mainly for the main game. The slow burn section with the Serene Village was just wonderful. And then all the ramping up that happens with the Expedition Society was also a very fun time. A very, very fun time. Like, if this had, like, a better post-game, I think this probably would have dethroned, like, Explorers of Sky is my favorite. At this point, I think that Explorers of Sky and Super Mystery Dungeon are kind of 
perpetually tied, maybe bouncing up and down on which one is my favorite right now, because they're both just so damn good. Rescue Team is at the bottom purely because it is the first and is clunky at places, but its simplicity is charming. GTI is below Super and Explorers because it just doesn't have as much. What it has is amazing. What it has is great and concise, but Explorers has, like, more story to it, more characters that kind of hit a bit harder, and Super has a fantastic story. A fantastic story with wonderful characters and easily the best partner. The best partner. Just utterly fantastic. <laughs> Could just say both are your favorites for different reasons, in my opinion. Shared placement is valid. Yeah, it's just like, whatever I really, like, focus on in the moment might push one up, up above the other. Like, when it comes... Because it's like... Explorers has, like, a bit of that simplicity from Rescue Team, but has a really, really cool story with really, really cool characters. And then Super has kind of, like... In a similar vein, that kind of concise storytelling from GTI, but lengthened and spread about, and it's just, like, really, really cool. They f very much, what's the word, flourish in different ways. And I just can't put one above the other. They're just so, so very good. And it's just like, it, it really makes me want to have another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon after playing this. Like, the cutscenes, like, especially near the end, like how Gabriel was jumping rock to rock to try and get to the Tree of Life that was flying away. And just like, best boss fight, gotta say. Because, while I do enjoy, like primal dialga it's just another fight and but here dark matter was a great boss with fantastic music and wonderful storytelling really the only part that it kind of falters at is the story pacing for the epilogue for the post game for getting Gabriel back. Because GTI had good pacing for the getting the player back epilogue. And that was just a really fantastic thing. And then, like, again, Explorers has really good, like, epilogue post-game moments. Like Manaphy and then the Darkrai Chronicles. Just really, really good. Like, the building blocks for making the post-game epilogue here exist, and it is very possible. It's just that the pacing was kind of wonky, and uh, the execution wasn't totally there. I'd say there's some good scenes in DX, such as the encounter with Ninetales at the end of the Fugitive arc, or the meeting with bosses. Hmm. Yeah, because they don't really have that many, like, cutscene moments for, like, DX, I guess. It, well, then again, Rayquaza blowing up the meteor could be amazing. Like, imagine if they added the embellishment of the explosion actually throwing you and the partner off <laughs> the clouds. That would be kind of dark. I've yet to play it, so I do not know. But... Overall thoughts, this was just fantastic. And it's funny because when it came to Rescue Team and even Explorers, one thing I would always say is that I was playing them in spite of the gameplay to a degree. Because the gameplay in Rescue Team and Explorers are fine, but if it was just the gameplay, I wouldn't play them that kind of thing. 
I played it for the story. For the, for the characters, for the world, for the story. And the gameplay was always a vehicle for that. I do think that, along with, like, uh, as they went along, the gameplay definitely got tightened and uh, polished. To the point, like, again, I am very much willing to throw out the occasional mystery dungeon, super mystery dungeon stream doing some of these, like, collections and boss fights or connection orb missions. But even then, like, I, like... At the end of the day, I still play these for the story and character. And then once I run out of that, I just kind of get a little sad. I'm just like, man, I wish there was, like, more conversations to be had with the characters. <laughs> just imagine, he said, having just played it recently. <laughs> the explosion is really cool, but somehow even better, in my opinion, the pre-battle introduction cutscenes is great because it makes Rayquaza feel so intimidating. <laughs> but yeah... I adore Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is just absolutely amazing. Again, I will always say that even if you start with the original DS Blue Rescue Team, I think these would just be utterly fantastic. I don't know, maybe I'll splurge and get DX one of these days. Maybe it'll be a surprise for you all. But I just, I love these games. And it's probably the fact that it is Pokemon. Because it's such a cool idea. It is such a fanfic idea. The player being you, falling to the world of Pokemon, becoming a Pokemon, and going on a grand adventure. I am honestly shocked that Chunsoft and, like, the Pokemon Company and Nintendo didn't team up to, like, release stories. Like, I know they released, like, mini-mangas and, like, the OVAs, the little specials, anim anime specials for a few of them, but... I'm honestly surprised that they never put out, like, a full, like, a full-fledged, a full-fledged, like, mystery dungeon story that was just a story. Like, imagine a mystery dungeon anime, or a mystery dungeon manga, or just, like, a mystery dungeon book that officially released from Nintendo and get a Pokemon Company that is just a story telling a mystery dungeon story. It would just be so good. They did a manga of Rescue Team, I believe. I think it was, like, a single, like, collection. Like, the, maybe a few mini-mangas that they then tie together into, like, a full, like, single volume. Because that's the one thing that I do remember slightly reading about. Like, I think it might... I forget. It's either, like, a single, like, mini-volume. I think that's what it is. About a kid who is, like, a Torchic and fell to the Pokemon world. And it's just kind of like an abridged telling of Rescue Team. And actually ends with him happily going home. If that, if I remember correctly. Uh, if uh, copyright would not really annihilate me, I would totally read that on stream. Or hell, maybe I could always just like... Get my own copy and like audio book it without showing any of the images, or maybe just showing specific panels that I like. That might be a thing. Same thing with my kind of want to react to the anime specials of Mystery Dungeon. But those would actually be edited, because don't want to be the lazy just show everything ones. You have to actually put effort into reacting. Like, if I ever did reaction content, I would always, like, cut out major sections that I'm silent for. Especially because I have to control my expressions. 
<laughs> yeah, they're Nintendo. They'd be murder anyway. I do think that, like, some of the anime Mystery Dungeon specials are on YouTube, but I'm fairly certain if you tried to upload huge chunks of them to your own channel, you'd probably get sniped. Or at the very least, have your revenue taken, which wouldn't bother me. Oddly enough, Enter the Dragonfly Spyro did that. For one, one song. Eh. But yeah, basically, I wish that Toonsoft, Game Freak, not Game Freak, Pokemon Company and Nintendo got together and made, like again, a full-fledged, multi-volume mystery dungeon manga. Or, like, at least a book. Release, like, a novel that is telling a story like like these Mystery Dungeon games. Because the characters and story are just great. They're just amazing. <laughs> and th th that's why I think that, like, all the Mystery Dungeon fan fiction is just my favorite genre. Because especially because people kind of go crazy with it. It's just great. I guess I'll give my, like, a recommendation to one of my current favorite Mystery Dungeon fanfics out there. It's called Seekers of Soul, and it feels like a great Mystery Dungeon story. You can find it on Archive of Our Own, or on Tumblr if you find, uh, the Tumblr. I forget what their, what their Tumblr is, though. Bleh. But it is a fantastic story. And hilariously, I think it is perfect, like, because one thing that a lot of, like, Mystery Dungeon fanfics do is they're like, ah, blood and violence and cursing. Not this one. There is still a bit of blood and violence, but no cursing, funnily enough. Definitely feels, like, spiritually up there and is good. So again, if you want, like, more Mystery Dungeon content and you read Mystery Dungeon fanfics, Seekers of Soul on Archive of Our Own and Tumblr... Fantastic read, with fantastic art made by the author as well, also great. I feel like Mystery Dungeon really opened up people's ideas of how Pokemon can be used, and such as characters. Probably, probably. Because, like, sure, there was always, like, the legendaries, like Lugia, like Mewtwo, but they were always kind of their own thing. And sure, there was always, like, Pikachu, who is obviously intelligent, but not really a character in his own right. I think Mystery Dungeon was a kicking-off point where Pokemon were more allowed to be their own characters. Primarily because, of course, there were only Pokemon to be characters in these games. It's hard to tell because Mystery Dungeon Blue, Res Blue and Red Rescue Team came out in 2005, and I was not reading fan fiction in 2005. I was like eight. <laughs> I was not allowed on those websites. But a lot of even, like, non-Mystery Dungeon fanfics love to make Pokemon, like, more talkative. Like, they'll have translation devices, or Ash will have Aura and be able to talk to Pokemon and teach other people aura. And it's just... Pokemon is fantastic when it's allowed to be. Oh, this reminds me, I nearly need to get back to my own Pokemon writing, like my Pokemon the anime as Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Alternate Universe. And then, like, my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 11 chapter short story, my Valentine one-shot that is months out of date. <laughs> but I just wish that there was more Mystery Dungeon, because it feels so unique. Because it just doesn't feel like you could tell stories like Mystery Dungeon can. Like, even if you had a Digimon Mystery Dungeon, I don't think that it would feel the same. Even if you had, like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what other monster franchises there are. Hilarious, I can only think of Digimon. Then again, <laughs> I just realized something. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is kind of what I want a Digimon season to be. Because I want a season where there's, like, a group of people, like teenagers or something in Digimon, and they get thrown through a Digi-Portal, and they get file-converted 
basically every other human that goes to the digital world, they come out with like a, as human because they were properly converted. But then these humans get thrown flu through and uh, get file converted into Digimon. Because personally, my explanation for it would be the mon at the end of every Digimon's name is their file extension. So like agu.mon, gato.mon, anja.mon, anjawa.mon kind of thing. I just think... <laughs> and then these people would be permanently turned into Digimon, not like that one faker season where they're like, ah, oh, we're humans, but we can digivolve into Digimon. It was like, nah, that's fake shit. Tamers worked because it was them bio-merging with their Digimon due to their bonds. Not that, oh, we're just humans that have, like, a super form. That's a Saturday morning cartoon that's been done ten times already. But, enough rambling about that. But again, I just don't think that there's, like, any other franchise that could do a mis Pokemon Mystery Dungeon type story. Without it feeling weird. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon works the way that it does because it is a familiar franchise that a lot of us know since childhood. And it puts you in the driver's seat of the main character that's technically meant to be a self-insert and makes you the Pokemon and makes the Pokemon the characters. And it's just like something that no other Pokemon game really does. The mainline Pokemon games don't really have Pokemon as characters for major stretches of the story. Even spin-offs like Colosseum, Gales of Darkness, I don't think Ranger. Just like none of them have Pokemon as characters. Just like, oh, there are dear partners, but they're just treated as units or treated as tools for the story. Like here in Mystery Dungeon, there's like a real feel of camaraderie between you and the Pokemon, especially this one, considering you actually went and helped the Pokemon and they joined your team willingly, which also helped with the weird aspect of recruiting Pokemon within dungeons. But I really, really hope that we get another Mystery Dungeon game next year. Because next year should be the 15th? Like, no. Next year should be, the, yeah, the 20th anniversary. The 20th anniversary of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Can you believe it? That's more or less what I mean. Poke Park also has that too. Yeah, I, I've never played Poke Park. Maybe I should give that a shot. But I just I adore Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon because disclaimer: Mystery Dungeon is a Spike Chunsoft soft thing that has existed. Beyond Pokemon, like Ch Ch Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. I think there was like a Persona Monster Mystery Dungeon. Huh. Poke Park, especially 2, is excellent. Then I will definitely put that on my list of games to maybe get to. But Mystery Dungeon is just fantastic. The gameplay just kept getting better across the games. The stories kept getting better in many ways. And really, it's this weird golden thing where I don't think that there is a bad mainline Mystery Dungeon game. Technically, there's the Japan-only WiiWare Mystery Dungeon games, but I know next to nothing about them. Next to nothing at all. And I think I wouldn't like them from what I've heard. They are hardly at all, like, uh, story-based at all. Where story is my favorite thing from these games. Story and the game making me cry. But yeah. Pokemon is great. Mystery Dungeon is great. Can't wait for more. Wish that the three companies, Nintendo, Chunsoft, uh, Pokemon Company, 
would do more with it instead of just the games. Like, again, just throw a few dollar reduce to Spike Chunsoft to use the Mystery Dungeon, like, trademark, I think. And then just make an anime, make a manga, make a novel. <laughs> I would buy them. <laughs> again, the WiiWare games have a total of one reference in Super, which is hilarious that that actually exists. You know an anniversary game is good when it even references the ones that people would rather forget. <laughs> but... I'm trying to wrap my thoughts again. Again, Super Mystery Dungeon is fantastic. It had a very cool introduction to this game. Like, a really iconic introduction as well because you see yourself as a reflection in the water just very very cool an exciting introduction with the behemoth attacking you leading into a tutorial great long-term storytelling the kids like deerling esper panchim shelmet they were all great the teachers were pretty good the village, Serene Village just overall was really, really nice. A lot of personality. Lively Town had less personality because they were mostly focusing on the Expedition Society, but the Expedition Society had good personality. Even if Bunnelby uh, drew the short straw. Dedene was great. Mawile, I'm just, I'm just so happy that like a Mawile got like a leading role. Like a really, really re leading role. Jirachi, apparently the same one from the Explorers games. That was cool. <laughs> it's a shopkeep that's only in the WiiWare games, for clarity. Ah, interesting. But... And again, the music in this game, utterly fantastic. I genuinely might make it a tradition where I play through all four Mystery Dungeon games each year. I just might make that a thing because I love these games and more people need to play them. Just utterly fantastic. And plus it would allow me to like voice act all these characters again. So when I go back to blue rescue team I can go wait what voice did I give these characters and it would be an amusing thing for people to be able to go and uh, poke fun of like haha you completely changed this character's voice or maybe I'll like happenstancely give them a similar voice or somehow actually remember to give them the same voice because voice acting characters in these games are great but what else what else I have a lot that I want to say about Mystery Dungeon Games, but I should probably just, like, save it and make an edited content YouTube video on my main channel. Because I do want to make kind of a retrospective on Blue Rescue Team, but that also requires lots and lots of drawings, and my brain really, really hates me when I draw, and that would be very difficult <laughs> and a lot of work. But who knows, maybe someday. Or maybe I'll cut down... On it and like cut down on the amount of art that I have to make. Like, I don't know. Brain wants to be ambitious, but also will punish me if I get too ambitious. But I just, I love Mystery Dungeon. I hope there's more in the future. And I'm definitely gonna be playing these games again because even though, like, but at the same time, is there a lot? Is there a market for somebody who just plays a bunch of Mystery Dungeon again and again after they already know the entire story? Of course, I'd let it sit again, make it an annual thing, but I just, I just love these games. I, I don't want them to leave my life. I'll definitely try to look at like uh, some Mystery Dungeon fan games, ROM hacks and stuff. See about that. But I'm rambling, I'm rambling and going in circles, so I'll try to bring this to a close. 
Again, for my rankings, Rescue Team is la last place, purely because it is the first game and the simplest, but there is a beauty in that simplicity. And honestly, I'm just happy that Blue, Rescue Te Blue and Red Rescue Team were good enough that we got the Explorers games, and then we got Gates to Infinity. Which even, like, and again, people were way too mean to Gates to Infinity. Gates to Infinity were great. Gates to Infinity had great characters in Verizian, in Umbreon, Espeon, Emolga, Dunsparce. And while I do wish they did more with the partner in Gates to Infinity, they're still great. They have a lot of narrative potential that they just sadly never tap into, really. And Hydreigon, the voice of life, is also a great character. And it's just a really, a, a really cool twist on the goodbye. Even though I heard some, like a few people say that like the goodbye lasted a bit too long for them. I don't know. I think it earned it. I think it earned it. And also the town. The town in Gates to Infinity was amazing. Replaying them infinitely is just your method of protest. <laughs> It was like, I, day 1532 of playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon until a new Mystery Dungeon game is made, but. Yeah, Gates to Infinity, it got a bad rap. Gates to Infinity was great. Gates to Infinity, sure, had some weird design decisions, like only one mission per, like, uh, dungeon run. But I liked Building Paradise, even though I never, like, finished Building Paradise, sadly. Because, again, I, I'm not a big fan of Skyrimming a, a post-game. I don't like Radiant Quest stuff. I don't like infinitely go on and do same thing, slightly different. That's not what I really enjoy from games. It's the character, it's the story, and, like... You could have the best gameplay, and I would probably go grow bored of it if there is not a tangible story that grabs me. But... Gates to Infinity is great. More people need to play it and give it a second chance, because it is nowhere near as bad as people made it out to be. It did feel shorter, but the story was so good. The story was concise, the story was great, the characters were amazing. <laughs> Which is amusing, given that it's kind of the bread and butter of PMD's gameplay loop. <laughs> Again, that's my thing. Where... Like... The gameplay is good, but I adore these games for the world, character, and story. Gameplay is a vehicle for experience to me. And again, while I do think that, like, Gates to Infinity and Super refined the gameplay so well that I'm probably willing to do that kind of, like... Because there is a goal in mind with Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. Because in Gates to Infinity, it is building up paradise. In Super, it is filling out the connection orb. It's going to fight all the boss monsters and then the collection thingy. Granted, uh, Explorers of Sky also had the, like, seven instrument things that I never did. Who knows? Maybe I should, like... Maybe next time I play Explorers of Sky, I'll actually do those. I'll actually do those. But at the same time, if I do make this like an annual thing, I'm definitely doing more grinding off stream. <laughs> where I play on my own time. Except for maybe Super, because Super uh, has like a, a much more personal taste to like the gameplay missions. So I probably wouldn't do that. It would feel wrong. <laughs> There's definitely an end goal, at least for Super. Much more so than the others. But for me, like, I think that's why Explorers of Sky is still hanging in there fighting for, like, the number one spot. Even if it is shared between Explorers and Super. Because the characters and story were so important to it all. And I think the special episodes helped in that. 
the special episodes, especially the final special episode. Which, god damn it, I wish that I saved the final special episode for after I beat, like, uh, the main post game of Explorers, because that would have been the perfect ending. <laughs> but. Yeah, Rescue Team is glorious in its simplicity. Explorers is just a lightning in a bottle. It, it has such great vibes and characters and stuff. I do think that the overall characters in, like, GTI and Super are probably better, especially Gabriel. Gabriel is such a good partner, and I'm sorry to Silas, my Explorer's partner, but... Like... The Explorer's partner just feels like a step up from the Rescue Team partner, who was the definition of simplicity. And it wasn't until GTI where they started to give... Well, no, I guess technically, like, Explorer's partner had really good character. Like, it's hard. It's been a few months since I played Explorer's, so it's all kind of gone from my mind. Blah. But I've been rambling enough. This game is fantastic, and it's going to have a great place in my heart. And really, I am happy that I waited to play Super until now. Because I did get Super on the 3DS years and years ago. I think when it first came out. But then I got distracted. Like Brain does. And I never picked it up again. And I do... Like, in some ways, I am sad about it, because it would have been a cool thing to experience when I was younger, but at the same time, I feel like I appreciate Super a lot more than I would have had I played it when I was younger. And plus, it allows me to stream it and record it, so that my experience with this game is kind of immortalized to a degree. I just love it so much. Personally, during my playthrough of Rescue Team, they do touch on personality for the partner at least with some nice moments of subtle, subtle death. It just doesn't go more than that. Yeah, just like a few moments, but like the partner really isn't a focus there. There's the bit where there's ki they're kind of afraid of going up against like Zapdos of the great monster of the mountain. But then that's, like, not a really a personality trait that's brought up again. But again, the Fugitive arc is, like, legendary, in my opinion. It's very, very good. And also great music. But, again, I am rambling, because I love these games, but I am rambling, and I should bring it all to a close. I do not know what I am going to be playing next time. I might take a break on Monday and not stream, I might stream. Just throwing it out there. Because I do not know what it is that I might stream or not. Again, I have many ideas. I could do Pokemon black and white. Well, black or white. I need to decide which one again. I, I think I did research on which one I wanted to do, but I completely forgot. I could do Nier Automata. I could do Alundra. I think that's like an SNES or PlayStation 1 RPG. I forgot. I was just browsing. There's Breath of Fire, Tales of Symphonia. So many games that I could choose. So many games. But Brain is a fickle bitch. <laughs> the thing with like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is I love it so much I can sit down and be like, hell yeah, I'm going to do that. All these other games, I kind of have to force myself to sit down and play for the first time because Brain just goes... Bleh, bleh. But again, I am rambling way too much. I do not know what I'm going to play next time. I might take a break on Monday. Who knows? But thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this adventure through Super Mystery Dungeon. Thank you for all of those people who have come on this journey since Explorers of Sky and watched me play through Gates to Infinity and then Super. This has just been a fun, fun ride. And it was amazing to experience, like, re-experience Explorers of Sky, and then experience Gates to Infinity and Super for the first time. 
<laughs> get a few options and roll dice for a uh, fate for ch to check. Maybe. It's just that, like, brain gets annoyed. Because, like, I was like, oh, I like these selections of roll the die. And then, it, the, like, a, an option comes up and brain just goes, eh, I don't like that option. Brain is a fickle bitch. But I do believe that that will be that for now. If I do stream next time, it will either be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time or Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, depending if I take a break or not. But this is goodbye to Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, at least for now. Maybe in the future, I'll grab Rescue Team DX and run through that. Maybe I'll run through a fan game, a ROM hack or two in the future. Maybe we will get a new Mystery Dungeon game for the 20th anniversary next year. Who knows? Uh, then do the other option after. That's also true for rolling the die of fate. That's genuinely another good option for deciding as forcing a decision makes you realize what you want. That is true. But ultimately... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is my favorite franchise because it touches my heart in a way that no other game really has. From Rescue Team, which made me cry with its simplicity that endeared the characters to me, Explorers, which told a fantastic story, with interesting ideas and characters, with Gates to Infinity, with its concise story, and, and like streamlined everything with great characters in a great town, to Super Mystery Dungeon, which probably has the best partner and best story out of all the Mystery Dungeon games. No series has made me cry as much as Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I do not think that any series will again. There is an earnestness, a joyfulness, a wonder to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon that I dearly hope we get to experience again, whether in a new game or playing these games through again at another date. But for now, for the foreseeable future, we say goodbye to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And I say goodbye to you, dear viewers, for tonight. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, everything that I do is in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings with direct links in all the link places, bios, and descriptions of the various sites. In there you can find my edited content YouTube channel that I'm trying to make content for again, my streaming YouTube channel and streaming Twitch, depending on whichever is your preference, with all of these streams being uploaded to the YouTube channel after the fact. If you want to see some art that I've drawn up in the past and hopefully the future, various sites I upload to are linked there in the link tree. If you want to read up on the various stories I've written and the stories that I hopefully will write. Some links to that as well. And for the astoundingly kind and generous, my Patreon is also linked, being nothing more than a little donation box for now. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind Stay hydrated, and thank you very much for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>